Scottish Claymores rolled into Frankfurt, we witnessed one of the greatest NFL Europe games in history. The Galaxy and Claymores combined for over 1,000 yards total offense and were just one yard shy of 1,000 for total combined passing yards. The Claymores emerged on top, 42-35, the final score in the shootout at the Waldstadion. But the game will be remembered for one man's performance. Damian Craig entered himself into the Pro Football Hall of Fame with his record 611 yards passing. Today, his replacement, Kevin Daft, who threw for four touchdowns in his debut last week, will aim to emulate Craig's performance against the team that are the current NFL Europe champions. Both teams won their openers and are primed for action. It's the brave hearts of Scotland at the Frankfurt Galaxy, and it's live here on Sky Sports. Welcome to the first of our live NFL Europe matches, and today we'll see just how good the Scottish Claymores are. They took apart Amsterdam easily last week, but playing the Galaxy in Frankfurt is a test for any team. The Waldstadion will be overflowing, definitely very loud, a little bit like my guest tonight, first down editor Keith Webster, who despite being Scottish, is a huge Claymores fan. Yeah, I, I promise to be neutral tonight, don't, Mike. don't worry. <laughs> Last week, a great performance against Amsterdam. What was the key for the Claymores? The key for the Claymores was their defensive line push. They, they had it all day long from Antonio Dingle up the middle, who was double teamed the whole game. But they've got the speed on the outsides at defensive end and at linebacker, where they can take advantage of him tying up a double team. And they did that all week last week and caved in Jim Kubiak's pocket. And that defense gave the offense time to get rolling. Yeah, the offense is not a great offense. It's going to take time as the year goes on. But, and Kevin Daft needed that time they had two goal line stands that kept the score close so they didn't have to panic on offense and they could they could just get a hold of the game the way they wanted to yes it was a great performance from the brave hearts last week so let's take a look at one of the biggest reasons for that and that was halfback aaron stecker aaron stecker's first touchdown was made from nothing linebacker sean stuckey covers stecker on a swing pass stuckey has great size but is not as mobile as stecker so when stecker gets the ball he uses quick feet to freeze the defender then turns on a quick burst of speed stuckey can't deal with to get six on this angle we can see how scott cooper and damon gibson on the right clear out the side by taking their markers left this lets kevin daft get stecker the ball with plenty of room for him to give stuckey the business Later, Scotland repeat the ploy downfield. Silicio Sanford and Cooper take their men left. Kevin Daft fakes the pitch to Stecker, drawing linebacker Masafumi Kawaguchi in one step. That's more than enough for Stecker, who then has the speed to beat Kawaguchi deep for another six. The threat of Stecker in the flat is what lets him get deep on this play, and from this angle we can see how Kevin Daft throws a perfectly timed ball, so Stecker catches it in stride. Frankfurt better cover him better tonight to have any hope of winning. Great performance, but Keith, Frankfurt's a whole different story to Amsterdam. Yeah, they're a much better team than Amsterdam, and they're going to be that way all season. The key for Scotland tonight has to be patience. Control the ball in offense, wait for your opportunities, don't make a mess of, of the chances when they come along, but don't give the ball away. That's the big problem. Okay, don't give the ball away, Claymores. Good advice every time. And now let's get over to what's sure to be a packed and definitely very loud Waldstadion in Frankfurt. Talking above the noise are our commentators, Kevin Green and our very own Nick Halling. Welcome back to the Waldstadion, just seconds away from the big kickoff. You know something, Kevin? Some people will just do anything to get into the stadium without paying. I know you do find that hard to believe, but uh, look at uh, that fella here. I mean, this is this is a crazy uh, man, right? Oh, oh, unbelievable. Huge Congo. Well, let me just say he's got some great intestinal fortitude. He certainly does, because you couldn't pay me enough to do that. Ooh. Well, he doesn't have to pay to get in. Somebody else who doesn't have to pay to get in, of course, is Frankfurt's head coach, Dick Curl, looking relaxed on the sidelines. He's a bit fed up about hearing about Scotland's defense. He's pretty comfortable with his own team. They think they're the greatest thing defensively that ever walked. I think we're pretty good defensively. I'll be disappointed if we don't go out there defensively and step it up big and just prove to people how good we are. 
They think that we cannot block them. They think that their defensive line will eat us up offensively. I'll be totally disappointed if our offensive line doesn't give us protection to throw the ball and run the football. Just purely pride, just purely pride is what it comes down to. We're close, man. So it's all about pride for two unbeaten teams early in the season. You see the bare foot there of the English kicker Rob Hart, originally from Southampton in England, a fine city, Kevin. <laughs> you would say that coming from <laughs> Southampton, Nick. And the receivers, Corey Ivey to the left, Jim Cantaloupe to the right. It's week two in the NFL Europe League. A real crackle of anticipation about this one. Hart gets it off to Ivy, who fields at his own four-yard line and works behind the wedge. And is down at about the 21-yard line. Let's take a look at the Frankfurt Galaxy offense. Normally, they go with this two-headed monster, both quarterbacks, but Ted White gets the call today. Pat Barnes hurt with rib injuries. Haygood, Fleming, Burrows, Murphy, and Cobdish, the big offensive line that will protect him. And in the backfield, Norman Miller, Thomas Bailey and Floyd, the wideouts, the veteran German Werner Hippler at tight end. He blocks like a truck. First down at the 21. They start with three wide receivers. And White will throw on first down. He goes over the middle to the big guy, Werner Hippler, who is tackled by the middle linebacker, Matt Finkis, the middle linebacker, taking a look at the Scottish Claymores. These are the hounds. Chris Ward, Antonio Dingle, Noel Scarlett, Michael Mason. That's the big group up front. The linebackers, Phil Glover from Tennessee, Matt Finkis and Ryan Taylor from the Browns. And in the secondary, Blackwell and Hawthorne on the corners, Blaine McElmurray and Marcus Ray, a pair of hard-hitting safeties. Four yards on the play to Werner Hippler, brings up second down and six. Frankfurt stay with the same formation. And White will throw again on second down, and he can't find Corey Thomas. There is no flag. Thomas with the coverage from Corey Blackwell, and it's incomplete. Man got rocked coming across the middle. Marcus Ray starting this show off early for the Hounds. Number 22 stuck his head in there real nice. So it brings up a third down and six. So far, we've got one. So White has thrown on first and second down. And he will throw on third down as well. The pocket closes, but White takes off and will be close to first down yardage. And that comes as a bit of a surprise because White not known for his mobility but seeing enough of the field there to pick up a first down. I think it's just great pressure by number 99, Chris Ward, coming off the corner right in there, forces him up the middle, makes a good, good run for the first down. We good awareness around the ball. We didn't expect it. White, a pocket passer. But he'll take off as well. Now they'll go on the ground. Norman Miller won't get much there. Maybe a couple there. Well, we saw Ted White get that first down. His mobility, a question mark. It slots but right. Kevin, slots perhaps right. you can talk us through some of the keys, your keys to the game. Absolutely. The number first one, establish the running game. This is huge. In order to slow down the house pass rush, take the pressure off the passing game in Ted White. Second, Main, main, right here, maintain poise and confidence, especially during adversity. And now that Pat Barnes relegated to an emergency role, Ted White has to go the distance himself. So second and long. Miller in the backfield again. White with a lot of time. And a man. It's short of first down yardage. But Ted White given a lot of protection there. And the ball to the 40-yard line, that will bring up a third down and two, and White looking very composed early on here, Kevin. I think that's part of the game plan. Ted White, I, I think what they want to do is challenge this defensive backfield from the Scottish Claymores. Good, good protection up front, gives him time to set up in the pocket. He feels no heat in front of his face, throws a good ball. Third and short, three wide receivers. 
Ben White will take off again and picks up another first down and that's great mobility into Scotland territory before he's tripped up by Dwan Hawthorne but this is the guy that we said and Dick Curl said yeah. well, is the pocket pass absolutely there's the guy we thought was going to be the scrambler Abs now he is known for his mobility but never, nobody thought Ted White had this kind of mobility but you know kind of labeled him as a pocket passer you know where he's going to be that's the target he's going to be in the pocket he's showing very good elusiveness here early in the game that's two third downs that White has converted on his own. Floyd, wide right. Corey Thomas is wide left. Bailey, the veteran, is in the slot. And we have whistles. Yep, the Hounds had to call timeout. Timeout. Edinburgh. So first. Ted White will go down to timeout. talk to his sideline. And Jim Kreiner, I'm sure, will be uh, assessing things be on his sideline, too. Timeout. Jim Kreiner in his sixth year as the head coach of the Scottish Claymores, a World Bowl winner with Scotland in 1996, and as an assistant in this league with Frankfurt, or with Sacramento in 92, and Dick Curl here, coach of the year, two years running. I mean, there's no question about his track record. I mean, he's been there, done that. You know, World Bowl champions. And obviously, he knows what he's doing. Well, they call him the Mad Bomber here in Germany mad because bomber. this is a guy who likes to throw first. Sure. Ah, they might just run it once in a while just to change it up a little bit, but uh, a dick curl offense is a passing offense. So first down after the Scotland timeout, it's the same formation for Frankfurt with Bailey, the slot receiver, Miller in the backfield, Thomas to the bottom of the screen, Todd Floyd to the top, White drops again, good protection. Can't find Mario Bailey, it's incomplete, that's second down. A bit of extracurricular stuff going on between Rashid Simmons and Josh Kobdich. Up in the trenches, I mean, stuff goes on up in the trenches. Everybody is trying to establish the physical aspect of the game, and it's not, it's not a pretty thing. It's not a pretty thing. I mean, it's pretty ugly up there in the trenches, and tippers get heated. A bit of pushing and shoving. Sure, come head to button. Anything. No, let them play. Let them do it. But I tell you, the, the hounds at the moment are on the leash. This Frankfurt offensive line doing a pretty good job early on here. Mm. Second down. White with time again. Oh, 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 it's picked off Matt Finkus. And Finkus is dragged down at the 46-yard line. That ball up in the air. Floyd couldn't hang on. He's drawn double coverage anyway. And Matt Finkus, who's got half his family here watching this game, comes up with a big turnover. <laughs> Todd Floyd, bless his heart. I think he would have had the ball, but he got tattooed by about two or three Scottish Claymores. And then Matt Finkus had the, just the awareness, football awareness, and was able to pull that bad boy in. So Matt Finkus, the returning veteran. Yeah, big play. And you know what? They didn't make a lot of big plays last week as a defense. You know, as far as turnovers and interceptions, that's critical right there. That's critical because the Galaxy was driving. So Kevin Daft, who started slow last week, leads the offense. And the swing pass to Damon Gibson. And Gibson makes something out of nothing and will pick up five yards. Yes, Kevin Daff, the third stringer with the Tennessee Titans last year. His very first play from scrimmage last week, an interception, and after that, simply sensational. The offensive line, Jason Tennell filling in at left tackle. Cavill, Newell, Gamble, and Green rounding out that quintet. Cooper and Gibson, the wideouts. Willie Tate, the H-back. Ricky Brady at tight end. And Aaron Stecker, who had a couple of touchdowns out of the backfield, is the lone running back. We saw a lot of different formations from Scotland offensively last week. Second down. The give is to Stecker, and Stecker just stumbles, and then manages to get forward a little bit. Marcus Richter was the first man there, the big German, and that'll bring up third down. Defensively for Frankfurt, Preston, Taylor, Davis, and Hirscher are on the defensive line. The linebackers anchored by Sean Banks from the Bears in the middle, flanked by Stan Gibbs and Kevin Homer, Corey Ivey and Quincy Coleman on the corners, Tony Maranto and Jim Cantaloupe rounding out the defensive backfield. No gain on the play from Stecker. That brings up third down and five, and the noise level cracked up a gear or two here in the Vols Stadion. Daft will throw, and he's hit from behind and down. Big hit, Henry. 
Henry Taylor, the man from the Detroit Lions. Came right around Jason Tinner, number 77. Just didn't hold his block quite long enough. He made, let's look right in here, and he just didn't hold his block that long. He just was able to come around, stay alive, and I mean, obviously the quarterback has got to get rid of the ball quicker than that. Dad has got to throw the ball faster. So three and out from the Claymores. Yeah. John Ballantyne from Melbourne, Australia comes in to kick it away to Corey Ivey, who waits at his own 10-yard line. And Ballantyne, who can boom him, has got tremendous height on that one. And it goes straight into the end zone. So scoreless here in the Vault Stadion. 8.24 left. First quarter, we're going to take a short break. Back in just a couple of moments. It's been over a hundred years since the last British heavyweight ruled the world. Now, into the new millennium. And another British heavyweight begins his reign. Lennox Lewis against American Michael Grant. Next Saturday, live on Sky Box Office. Book now for the early price of 11.95. Call 0990-800-777. Cable customers, contact your local operator. If you're umming and ahhing about what barbecue to buy, look into B&Q. Gas, charcoal, kettle, they're all here and they're all at low B&Q prices. Like this gas barbecue. It's got twin burners, a side burner, and it lights automatically. And B&Q's got it for only £99. That's a great price. You can do it when you barbecue it. Well, you can grip it, you can squeeze it, you can spread it, it's so easy with a quick grip. Quick grip, so if you need a helping hand, get down to the shop and buy a quick grip. The Halifax will give you a mortgage decision in just 15 minutes. So you could be into your new home and making friends with the neighbours in next to no time. <coughs> with a little help from the Halifax. This powerful capture pressure washer comes with all these attachments. And a free trolley for only £119. And it's only at B&Q. You can do it when you B&Q it. Welcome back. Frankfurt didn't look too bothered by the Scottish defense, Keith, but the Claymores came up with a big play. Yeah, the Claymores, as much as they like their defensive line, they really like their defensive backs for the way they cover, and, and that's what's forcing quarterbacks to make mistakes against them. The coverage is good, and we saw there that uh, Matt thinks a linebacker comes in and has a chance to make the pick because the two defensive backs have come in and quashed them. Scoreless here at the Vault Stadion, but I'll tell you something, Kevin, all the talk in camp and certainly talking to Dick Curl this week was that Ted White was a pocket passer who didn't right. like to take off. Right. He scrambled twice and, and converted two third down situations. And there's the scrambler, yeah. Pat Barnes. He will only come in if something happens to White. Barnes has a rib injury. He wants to play. Dick Curl has told him he better bide his time. First down. The three receiver package in again. And White with that cannon of an arm. He's got a man, but he's out of bounds. Kendrick Nord was the intended receiver, the man that they think can be the big deep threat. Central McClellan was matching him step for step, but we saw the arm of Ted White he there. sure did. I mean, you can see why this guy... I mean, he does have a bazooka. He set up in the pocket very nice and just launched one like 45, 50 yards down the field. Just a little bit outside of that, out of the, outside the playing field, but he's got an arm. Well, there's White's passing numbers so far. But two first downs on the ground. Now the draw play. Michael Blair gets a carry and will pick up five yards before he's tackled. The change up there. Norman Miller was in the backfield on the last series, but Michael Blair from Ball State getting the carry there. This fellow's a big physical specimen as well. You know, Dick Curl had made the made the mention that they had to establish the run game to take the pressure off the passing game and that is just a prime example you know you go Trey meanwhile we've got injury. an injured Claymore down right. there oh that is, that's yeah. Antonio Dingle that's the big key for the interior line too he's the leader of the hounds up front real vocal leader real productive player last week six tackles couple sacks big time game Ooh. I tell you you see a player lying in that position as well Kevin that doesn't suggest well, anything very good. I don't know. I'm, I'm just glad he's not holding a knee or something. Maybe he just had the wind knocked out of him. But they're not looking around his knees and giving him the knee deal. So, oh, 
I don't know. They rolled him over now. Shoulder, maybe. He may have got a stinger. You know, a burner? Yeah. It's a temporary thing. You stick your head into people, shoots down their arm, and it, like, totally goes limp and numb on you, but then it eventually comes back and you get your strength back. And there's Jim Tom Sula, the defensive line coach, looking on with some concern. Let's see if we can see what happened there to Dingle. Right in there. Let's kind of eyeball him and see if we can see what he hurt on this play. It, he's just, re oh, may have landed on his shoulder. He may have just kind of tweaked his delt a little bit. He, he'll be all right. The hound will be back in the game. Yeah. It's going to take more than that to keep this hound in the kennel. But I tell you what, you yeah. talk about the hounds. We're not seeing much from Jim Tom Sealer's group early on here. No. I, I tell you what. Uh, Jim Jim Kreiner really praised his hounds last week of being physical and working hard. And today, you know, they have yet to step up and make a play. Now it's the Frankfurt offense that's got to make the play. Third down and five. Three-man rush. White with a lot of time again. The swing pass, a flag comes in. Michael Blair spins away from one tackler. Looks like he's going to be short of first down yardage. Phil Glover and Hurley Tarver were there, but there's a flag as well. So we will be in the hands of our referee, Peter Morelli. Good second effort from Blair. Mm. And they're talking this one over. And both uh, offense and defense looking on a little concerned here. Very often the, the players on the field know what the call is going to be, but uh, this one seems to be uh, being questioned by both sides. They're kind of looking toward the Scotland Claymore side of football here. Holding. It's a hold against the defense. Yeah. You know, that last play, the Claymore's only rushed three down linemen, and they dropped eight in pass coverage. That's a nice little change up for them, especially if, if, if Ted White is finding him, his rhythm Throwing the ball that way, put more people in pass coverage. There are two fouls on the play. Illegal contact, number 26 on the defense, holding 43 on the defense. The legal contact will be declined. The holding will be accepted. Five-yard penalty, first down. Antonio Dingle has a shoulder sprain, we're hearing. He's getting treatment on the sidelines and uh, wow. he's lifting his arm up. He's fine. He's a warrior. He's a hound. That stinger, it'll wear off. He'll be back in there. Well, Dick Curl, we heard him challenging his offensive mm. line in the uh, pregame talk. This defense may be getting all the uh, publicity for Scotland, but uh, he said it's time for his guys to rise up to the challenge. So far, so good. First down, Frankfurt at the 30 yard line. White will throw it again. And he's got a man again, Kendrick Nord will pick up five yards before he's pushed out of bounds by Central McClellan. That'll bring up second down and five. They, they said to us that they really want to get Kendrick Nord involved in this offense. And that was a pretty safe route, too. That's just a little five-yard turnout route. Real safe route, real safe pass. <clears throat> but it'll just get Nord involved. He's a real mm. burner, this fella. The word on him is the man from the Baltimore Ravens. He's got potential. Mm. I always hate that because potential that, means you haven't mm, done anything, that right? P word. Yeah. Second and five. They see something. Let's see what they see. Well, the pressure comes this time. A flag comes in as White goes down. Tackled from behind. Phil Glover from the Tennessee Titans making the play. Glover had a quietly impressive game last week for the Claymores, and White felt the heat, but we have two flags yeah, on the field. Yeah, could be two cases of, of holding. Let's look way up here in the, in the corner. I think they're showing it a little too quick there. I think they read it, and then, you know, the quarterback audible and tried a three-step drop, and a couple guys got held on it. I think we're going to have holding on the Claymores. There are two fouls on yeah. the play. Holding number 56 on the defense. That's holding Ryan Taylor. Number 29 on the defense. And that's Central McClellan. Except the holding by number 29 on the defense. Five-yard penalty. First down. Mm. Well, that's going to 
drive Jim Kreider up the wall. That's two defensive first downs by penalty that the Claymores have given up. Yeah, they're making some mistakes right now. It just kind of, you know, it makes you wonder whether their heads are in the game, whether they feel a little pressure, maybe they feel the curveball thrown to them that uh, Ted White's a quarterback back there and he's already scrambled for a couple first downs. So they need to come together and play like they did last week. They're kind of playing discombobulated now. Todd Floyd, wide left at the bottom of the screen. Watch out for Mario Bailey in the slot. The, the draw play catches him once again. Michael Blair blasts his way through for five yards. Tackled by the middle linebacker, Matt Finkus. That's going to be a that's going to be a big play for these guys, Frankfurt. I think because they're going to threaten with the pass and the pass and pass, and then you know, hand it off with that little quick draw. That's a good three to five yards because the Hounds are just trying to pin their ears back because. You know, they're expecting pass from Ted White. Well, Dick Curl said it. We must establish the run, and here they go again. And Blair getting extended playing time here. He'll be very close to first down yardage there. Michael Blair, who didn't see too much playing time last week in the win against Berlin. Norman Miller was the featured back. Yeah, Michael Blair running the ball is a hoss. He just takes the ball on a straight ahead handoff. There's just hey, no draw, no nothing. Uh, Coach Curl said he wanted to establish the run, and I, I think right now you can see that they're they're getting this offensive line going and teeing off on the defensive line of the Hounds. Oh, look at those numbers. So in bad substitution, and there's going to be a flag. Three flags. The defensive backfields. They are discombobulated. There, there's some confusion going on. Of the defense of the Claymores right now from one reason or another. That was a bad substitute substitution situation with Rashid Simmons, number 93, and Chris Ward, number 99. Somebody needs to take charge up there. Antonio Dingle needs to get back in there or something. Matt Finkus needs to stand up, get everybody snapped back into this game now. It's Peter Morelli again. There are 12 men. Oh, on that the field. really drives the on coach the crazy. Number 29 did not get off the field at time. Five-yard penalty. And that's first down. three first downs in a row by defensive penalties now. We're seeing a total different defense right now from the Claymores. I know Coach Kreiner is livid, but we are seeing a total different defense. The Hounds of Scotland are, are not playing up to what they established last week, that's for sure. Uh, what did we say last week, Kevin? Talk is cheap, they've yeah. got to deliver. Not much delivering here. Still early days, still scoreless. But the Galaxy offensively trying to keep the Claymores off balance. And they're doing it on the ground once again. Just pounding away at that big defensive line, Dick Curl. He said right, he'd do it. It's yes. right out, right out, 860 Speedy Rio. Speedy Rio. Uh -huh. Yeah, your, your guess is good as mine on that one, Nick, my man. Well, we haven't had a pass for a while, and this is a pass happy offense. And Kendrick Nord at the top of the screen is the burner. Second down and seven. And White will throw over the middle. First down for the Frankfurt Galaxy. Justin Swift, the backup tight end, picks up 12. Tackled by Marcus Ray coming up from the safety, but a Frankfurt first down. Very nice crossing route underneath the coverage. Just kind of like a little tight end drag underneath. Good poise in the pocket. You'll see him just kind of come right across there and just kind of drags him across. Matter of fact, that looks like that's man-to-man -man coverage there by Marcus Ray. Just got caught behind it. Four wide receivers in. The draw play again. Good. Not much. Just a yard. Now, see, the Hounds are going to eventually hone up on this draw stuff. Now, a couple of draws have already bit the Hounds earlier, and that's good game planning by the Galaxy, because they know the Hounds are going to be pinning their ears back. But eventually, you keep running that thing like that, the Hounds are going to start eating that. Well, Chris Ward has checked out of the lineup for the Scottish Claymores. Antonio Dingle is back, back in. in. The four wide receiver formation still there. Blair alone in the backfield. Second and long at Frankfurt. And White with the deep drop and lots of time again. And he goes over the middle looking for Todd Floyd. That one's incomplete. White got hit Oof. as he threw the yes, ball. Sir. Got a bit nice. of pressure on him. Nice rush 
from Michael Mason up top. I believe on Josh Cobdish. Let's, let's go. Let's look right up in here, and you'll see Michael Mason just do a great inside move. They're all the way up top, he makes an inside move. There you go. Gets a little pressure on him. Yeah, you know, he didn't really get a crushing shot, but he let he let Ted White know he was there. That's important. Tenth play of a drive that began at the Frankfurt 20. Third and long. Critical. Can the Scotland defense make a stand here? Can Ted White keep the drive alive? White has time. Looks for Corey Thomas. Broken up. And the Claymores have a player hurt. And it's Corey Blackwell, I believe, who was there to break it up. And Central McClellan is calling immediately for Blackwell to receive some assistance. There was some popping. Let's watch right here. There was some popping going on right there. He goes right behind the bump and run, kind of trails him a little bit. Corey Blackwell trailing him, and the safety comes over. Marcus Ray and levels him, levels him. It might have hurt his own man. I tell you, Marcus Ray went straight into the knees quite accidentally. Ooh. So often you see the worst injuries Ooh. on a football field is when you get two defensive guys colliding, and that was a horrible collision. The competitive nature of this league, just the physical aspect of this league is that of the NFL, and that play proves it. Well, amazingly, he's back on his feet, Corey Blackwell. The 157 left, first quarter. as it looks. The mobile phone is changing. With BT Cellnet's new internet phones, you can access information from a range of websites through your mobile. So now you can find out whatever you want, whenever you want. Surf the net. Surf the BT cell net. I see 9 to 5 this weekend. I see 9 to 5 next weekend. I see 9 to 5 every weekend. I see offers free online time from 9 to 5 every weekend and free access. Call at your local SO service station to pick up a free CD or call 0870 9090 925. Welcome back. Scotland being kept off balance by Frankfurt's offense, but Antonio Dingle was out. He's back now, but you've got the inside scoop on his injury. Antonio Dingle suffered flu all this week. He's got it on Monday. He's been on the sidelines on his knees during practice, retching. He refused to take a playoff <laughs> in practice all week. He's really sucking up today. We could be set up now for a four-point field goal attempt. Let's see what happens. Well, I, the defense is staying in the game, and by the way, Antonio Dingle, number 74, is back in the game. He did have just a little burner, and he's a tough kid. I played with him. So it's good to see him back in the game. But the defense, the number one defense is staying in. The punt safe unit is staying in. Could be a chance for a little trickery from the Galaxy. Well, Nick Gallery from the Chiefs will punt it away. Damon Gibson is the deep man. A great kick from Gallery. That'll go out of bounds at the seven yard line. So they just marked it at the eight. But nevertheless, Gallery came in and did his job. And the Claymores offensively will be pinned deep in their own territory. Kevin Daft will have the plays on his wristband, which is commonplace in this league. Especially especially with the crowd noise, and they prepared for that this week. But Coach Kreiner had speakers set up on the field, had those guys wide open and blaring to simulate the hostile environment, the crowd noise that they were going to hear here, here in Vault Stadium in Frankfurt. I don't think you could ever simulate this noise. It, right. it has to be heard to be believed. And it's up there now. First down. Daft 
hands it off and Stecker has got nowhere to run and nowhere to hide and he's tackled from behind by David Hulsher. Second and long. Good mobility by number 91 from the back side. You know what? In the front side defensive end, Charles Preston, number 97, just stuffed up the hole on the front side. He does a great job up here, stuffing it up and right in there, gets the man turned up field, and just good hustled right down the line. Number 91 gets in on tackle right there. Good. That's, that's good team team defense right there. Good hustle. No tackle one, for loss. No one's talked about this Frankfurt defensive right. front. You think they're sensitive to that? <laughs> Three-yard loss, second and 13. Dapp from his own end zone swings it out to Stecker, and Stecker just stumbles again. He stumbled earlier. Yes. Get back to the line of scrimmage and no further. Yes. That's going to bring up third and long. Maybe they were looking for the linebacker match matchup or whatnot, but there was a DB out there in the flat with him. And I've seen a couple people slip right. on this field today. And Stecker may not be as elusive, quick, shaking vague, you know, like he was last week, because he is slipping on this on this field here in Frankfurt today. And also, of course, Frankfurt have had a chance to look at him on film as well, which is something Amsterdam weren't able to do because the Claymores did not come out of camp showing what Aaron Stecker could do. Now everybody knows after what he did last week against Amsterdam. Big third and long. Daft again Good from his protection. own end zone. He's got a man, but a long way to go for Willie Tate, and he's going to be well short of first down yardage. Dragged out of bounds by Kevin McCullough, the outside linebacker, and that will send John Ballantyne of the punting unit out. For a no-name defense of Frankfurt, I know the Hounds got a lot of publicity coming into this game, and, you know, Frankfurt Galaxy's really not known for his defense. I mean, they're playing very well today as a defensive unit. 91, he ought to make something happen. He's wearing the right jersey, isn't he? That's 91? right. That's right. I wondered how long it would take you for you to, for you to spot a number 91 out there. <laughs> I've expected a couple That's of sacks. The, the first quarter. And that will do it for the first quarter. So, John Ballantyne will go to work when we return. Scoreless here at the Vault Stadion. It's the Frankfurt Galaxy, nothing. The Scottish Claymores, nothing. Let me introduce you to the family. Anthony's told me so much about you. Psychopath, right? Like all families, we have our problems. Mama? The broads, the boos, and the bad air days. This is that whole Sicilian thing. Lloyd Bridges, Jay Moore. Did you kill those men? No. Okay. Whoops. The first showing of Mafia, Wednesday at 10 on Sky Movie Max. Airways. Introducing the next generation of air travel. Welcome back after scoreless first quarter. And Keith, it looked like Frankfurt's defense was ready for Aaron Stecker. Yeah, well, we build this game as everybody has the, the Scotland's defense versus Frankfurt's offense. Those are the two strong units of each team. But it's a case of who's strongest in the other department that's going to decide this game. And so far, it's Frankfurt's defense that is doing the business. Scotland look a little stale on offense, but they need to be patient. And we'll see if Scotland are patient. They're going to be punting the ball over to Frankfurt now. Welcome back to the Vault Stadion. Nick Halling and Kevin Green. No score, the Galaxy and the Claymores. That's the good news for Scotland. They've mm. barely been on the field offensively, but they haven't given up a point yet. No, I mean, they're not playing bad, Scotland. They're just not making anything happen right now. Valentine gets off another high one. Corey Ivy will fancy a return. A great kick fielded at the 33. Ivy steps away from one man, then Roel Br Br Blenman brings him down with an assist 
on the play from Tremaine Allen. Ivy can be dangerous, but Ballantyne getting terrific hang time on that one. And Dick Curl's offense will have good field position. Yes. Oh, but uh, there's a flag down there. Deep at about the 12 yard line. And Dick Curl's saying, well, they can, have, they can kick that one again. They can punt it again. Maybe someone left a little early. Well, that's a common mm. that's a common flag in this league. Illegal man downfield. We hear that all the time on punts. Ineligible member of the kicking team, number 55 on the defense. Gosh, Nick, downfield. you've got a crystal ball over there. I've just heard it a thousand Five times before, <laughs> Kevin. This time it's Brian five. Smith. Repeat, just a little anxious to get down and cover the kick, knock someone out. I've been there, done that. I tell you what, Jim Kreiner must be pretty concerned with the number of yellow flags we've seen in this ball game so far. The refs, you know, those guys, the officials are over here working on their craft as well, and things are starting off a little sloppy, and they've got to hit some people with some flags. Can't let all the holding go on. Of course, linebackers never hold, do they? Of course they? not, no. no. I'll tell you something, Ballantyne's got to watch it. He's right at the back of the end zone there. Mm. And you can see the referee, Peter Morelli, they're looking, watching his heels. Ballantyne will step forward and oh, gets off a horrible no. kick this time. And that penalty really was costly. Oh. Ballantyne, whose problem is consistency, just shanked one. Oh. Good that's check. given the Galaxy the oh. ball at the 30-yard line oh. of the Claymores. That's I, huge. I want to strangle him from up here, Nick. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. I mean, this is a serious gut check time for the Hounds. That turned into a 30-yard penalty. Oh. And Ted White and the Galaxy, well, they spotted it at the 33. But whichever way you stack it up, they're in great field position here. And they've got to take advantage of this field position right here and not just put three on the board. They need to put some serious points on the board. Mario Bailey in the slot. A little audible, huh? Oh, little movement by the left offensive tackle. There was a long wait and all the flags come in. Rob Bollinger, number 79. I saw a little hitch in his rock. I played with that kid, too. And you know, okay, come on, Rob, come on now. <laughs> I know it. He was with the Panthers here a couple you, years ago. You just watch offensive Fire linemen, snap. don't you? All -star. Well, you see them. You see them flinch, and you're all over them. <laughs> no, you're right. I move on first move. Yeah. I mean, if they blink, if they even breathe too deep, I'm gone. But Rob got busted on that one, yeah. I mean, that happens, you know. He's coming in, he's all geeked up. He's, ro he's rotating in there with number 77, Jay Hay Haygood. And he's just, you know, trying to get in the mix and just a little premature. So, second and 15 after the false start. The formation doesn't change. And again, they wait a long time and the pressure comes and White goes down. Held Chris too long. Ward blasted his way through and they'll tack on another eight yards and that's going to bring up third and half a mile. I don't I, I don't think it was so much of the Hounds making something happen is that Ted White, he just didn't throw the ball. He just didn't throw the ball. He just held on to the ball too long. You got a guy getting cut, been walking cut, and gets up and makes a sack. You got to throw the ball. You just got to get rid of the ball a little bit quicker than that or the Hounds going to bite you. Ted White got bitten there, third down and 22. In fact, no, it's a repeat of second down, excuse me, after the penalty. The pressure came and White's got a man, Corey Thomas with a great catch over the middle. Will be just short of first down yardage, 21 yards, Corey Blackwell and Blaine McElmurray converging. But Thomas just hung in the air and dragged that thing in. Right over Matt Finkus. I, I think Matt Finkus might have taken a bite on that bait on that short route, jumped the short route when he should have continued to get depth in the defense. The ball went right over his head. Thomas from the Dolphins. Ball, ball, ball. The ball is loose. Who's got it? Flags come in late on the Claymore side. There's still no indication on who's got the ball. Bad 
tight center quarterback exchange on that one. That ball just like dropped right down between Ted White's legs. And that was third and inches as well, but let's see what the call is. Just a quick snap, huh? Trying to catch him off guard, catch your hands off guard. Making, himself making life difficult for themselves on this drive. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Unnecessary roughness. Number 55 on the Oh, that's Brian Smith again. And that really is a big penalty. First down. You know what? I cannot understand that. As a player, I cannot understand people losing their poise and confidence and just doing that personal foul stuff. You got to maintain your poise. And the refs always catch the second guy anyway. It's not the first guy that throws the first punch and gets busted. It's the guy that retaliates whatnot. And on third and short, and with a bad exchange, Brian Smith, who's already caused one penalty that turned out to be huge, gets tagged for another one. First down, and they give the ball to Norman Miller, who's back in. And Miller with a great second effort, churning and fighting for yardage with the Hounds yapping at him. Frust frustration by the Hounds right now. And you know the offensive line from the Galaxy has got to be grinning a little bit because they got the Hounds on the heels. Antonio Dingle stood, stood up. Justin Burroughs very nice and just didn't come off quick enough and make that play. Second down. Well, the Claymores did not give up a touchdown last week. And the Amsterdam Admirals were in the red zone three times. Can the Claymores hold them here? Second down. White, play action. White rolls. Wide White open. Has a man. Todd Floyd, touchdown Frankfurt. Nice bootleg play action pass. Consequently, it sucked up the entire half. Nice play, Todd Floyd just kind of hanging in there and sneaking out late. That's just a good design play. Gut check time for the Hounds. Listen to the crowd. They love it. They're rocking. Todd Floyd had five catches to lead the Galaxy last week in Berlin. He didn't get a touchdown. That's his first of the season. And one of Kevin Green's favorite players in this league, Ralph Kleinman, is on <laughs> to attempt the extra point. <laughs> have breached the Hounds of Scotland and have taken a seven-point lead. And they're rocking and rolling here in the Vault Stadion. <laughs> Citra offers so good you'll be laughing. Zara 40 from 9995 and Xantia 40 from 12995. For every job, there's a hard way or there's the Dremel way. The Dremel Multi with more than 150 available accessories. For every problem, there's a Dremel solution. Cheese and tomato, and you're without the cheese or tomato. Ah, the internet. God's way of telling you you should get out more often. Still, it's not all cyber geeks and girls with their tops off. Apparently, you can buy things on it. Books, hats, chocolate, anything. A bit like a shop, really. Hmm. So, you won't be staggered to learn that the smart way to buy on the internet is with your Barclay card. You're guaranteed against fraud, so some 12-year-old hacker won't spend your money on whatever it is. 12 year old hackers spend their money on and just like in the real world it's accepted all over the world wide web so no change there then this internet thing's a lot of fuss about nothing isn't it still at least it allows you to go shopping when it's raining a bit like an umbrella really bonjour now Nicely executed waggle by the Frankfurt Galaxy. Everyone's going to go left. Ted White and the receiver go right, and Michael Mason bites. That's the unfortunate thing for Scott. Michael Mason goes inside. There's no containment outside, and uh, he's wide open. Very simple play, and you saw them pushing the cornerback in. Key there uh, for Frankfurt. They've got a 7-0 lead now, and Ralph Kleinemann's about to kick off. 
There's Todd Floyd right there just scoring the touchdown. Last year he was over here. He didn't really take it serious. This year he's more serious about it. Here you'll see 22 Marcus Ray come on off the corner with the corner blitz. And his job right there, I guarantee you, is to check for that bootleg. Because he's no way... He is no way going to catch that ball if this handoff going into the other side of the, the football. He's got to check for that naked bootleg like that. that. He just unfortunately did not play within the scheme of the defense, and it cost him. But worth repeating again, Kevin, that penalties really mm. killed the Claymores on that last series. Dion Mitchell is back deep. That's a change-up. And a high kick is not going to reach Mitchell. Blackwell fields at the 25 and looks to try and turn the corner, and he slips this time. Will pick up maybe a yard, Matt, uh, before he's tackled by Sean Banks, the middle linebacker coming in and uh, making the play. But Dick Curl, not only must he be happy with his offense that's just hit the end zone, he must be delighted with his defense that has silenced Kevin Daft on the, right. the, the, the offense so far. Things last week might have been a little too easy for number 13, Kevin Daft. He's going to have to deal with some adversity here. I mean, it was kind of like a cakewalk for him last week with the Admirals, the four touchdown passes he threw. But now they're behind. He knows his defense is struggling. He needs to take it on his shoulders and really lead this offense now. Tremaine Allen is the motion man. They fake the handoff up. A flag comes in and he's down, tackled from behind. Sean Banks will be credited with the sack if the play stands up. We will have to wait for that one. But whatever you, whichever way you look at it, Kevin, this Claymore's offense is really struggling. I like the way Frankfurt is throwing some curveballs at the Claymore's. They just brought a corner blitz in. Uh... Offside, number 20 on the defense. Five yards. That's penalty. Kevin Brooks, the First corner. Down. And that really helps the Claymore's. They needed a break. He was a little anxious. He might have been the one flying off the corner trying to get a hold of Kevin Daff. Dick Curl says, no, it couldn't have been. <laughs> the crowd is starting to pick it up a little bit. Kevin Daff's having a hard time with his, uh, his, his ear, ear, earphone. I'll tell you something, Kevin. It's, it's, it's a party animal crowd, but they understand the game of football, and they understand when opponents are under pressure yep. as well. And the Claymores are under pressure here. First and five. Allen, the motion man. Blackwell with the handoff. Aaron Stecker runs into a brick wall. Nowhere to go. Well, Kevin, I mean, you talked about the keys for victory for Frankfurt. Let's, let, let's look at what you think the Claymores have to do to win this thing. First of all, you got Stecker on linebackers. The coaching staff feels it's a win situation when they put Stecker on a, on a linebacker, and it should be. But Frankfurt is aware of this. Number two, draft. He's got to do something now. I mean, he had a great day last week, but now he's living through adversity. He's got to come up and play. The DBs have got to play better. They've got to rise up to the challenge of the wide receivers from Galaxy. Cooper. Wide right, Sanford, who's the motion man. Daft, with all kinds of time, and now space in front of him. We'll pick up first down yardage, pays the price. Very, let him up, man, let him but very nice. The space ahead of him, and he said, I've got to get a first down, and he does, and that takes the pressure off. Jim Cantaloupe coming up and making the stop. Nick, pretty good presence right there. Okay, we saw him elude that corner blitz a couple plays ago, and now we see him eluding a little more pressure, feeling everybody's kind of covered, feel the pressure going around him. He takes the ball vertical, vertical for a first down. Not bad. And as you told me before, Kevin, there is nothing that drives a defense crazier than yep. a quarterback that will take off. Well, it just lends a new Black dimension to the offense. First down. Stecker tries to use his speed. They're containing him pretty well so yep. far, Kevin. They have not been able to spring Aaron Stecker free at all. Tony Moranto, the safety, coming up and saying... I'll give you a couple, but no more. He came just chugging around the corner, just shot out of a cannon. Sean Banks dove at him, missed him, and then got wrapped up. You'll just see him come right out here just screaming. Spilled by the, by the defensive end, Charles Preston to the ball, goes to the outside. Good pursuit. Very nice pursuit. And the second man there was Sean Banks. Banks seems to be in on every play at the moment, the middle linebacker for the Galaxy. That field is going to be a problem for Aaron Stecker today, his footing. Stecker in minus yardage. Mitchell is the motion man. Cobbs will track him. The boot. 
And now Daft with a lot of work to do. He gets a block from Ricky Brady up front and gets past the tackle. Great block from the big tight end Ricky Brady. Allowed Daft to get extra yardage. 15 you, yards. You normally don't see a right-handed quarterback boot around to his left side because in order to throw the ball, he's got to square back up to the field. So this really throws the defense a curveball. You'll see him boot around this side. Now this is a right-handed quarterback. You see, now you usually don't see this because he's got see he's got to square back up to throw it. But then he just tucks it and runs. He sees it, he sees a lot of green over there. Runs for a first down. Good decision. But I'll tell you what, Vince Alcaldi, the offensive coordinator of Claymores, he's digging into the box of tricks here. But the drive stays alive. They're in Frankfurt territory for the first time in the ball game. Daft will throw on first down. Has time. Can't find a man. It was tipped at the line of scrimmage. It looked like big Charles Preston from the Baltimore Ravens got a hand up. Good blocking by that offensive line, the Claymores. They're giving Daft time to set up, read a couple, you know, go to his first, go to the second read. There, I think he was going to throw a strike, but the ball was batted down. So I think it was some pretty good protection by the old line. Deuce left, 33, X curl, all one. X curl, I think that may be a pass. What do you think, Nick? Oh, don't ask me, Kevin. <laughs> Get that crystal ball out. What does it say, X curl? <laughs> Second down and 10 after the incompletion. Daft will throw. It's a swing pass, but they that, can't that was connect it. with Ben Snell. Yeah. And it's incomplete just out of the grasp of the two-year veteran. Yep, Sean Banks was on his horse, too. He was on his horse to catch Ben Snell kind of flaring out. Dick Curl's defense, which really is inspired by Sean Banks. Critical down here. Every down is critical. But third and ten, you'd love to convert here. Obviously. Yeah. Quieten his quiet, quiet his crowd down a little bit. The only thing that's worked for Scotland offensively so far is Daft taking off on his own. Stecker is bogged down and the passing game's not clicking. Daft will hope to put that right here. And he's got Stecker, and Stecker has to get past the first man and doesn't. He's brought up short. Great tackle from Corey Ivey. Good open field tackle. And Ivy, if he doesn't make that tackle, it's a first down. I think that's a real nice open field tackle with the real quick man that has the ability to juke and just 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 juke you and shake you. He breaks down right there and just goes for it and wraps up real nice. Good job by Corey Ivy. On fourth down, John Valentine will come in, but uh, this could be trick play territory as well. But Ballantyne will kick it away, and he will try and do what Nick Gallery did. And Roel Blenman is down there, and oh, they can't quite keep it out. Nope. Great effort yep. by the special teams coverage guys. Chris Bain, number 46, a diving effort, but it's in vain. So the Frankfurt Galaxy will have the ball at their own 20-yard line. They have a seven-point lead as well. We'll be back. I woke up this morning and emailed my brother on Christmas Island. Checked my bank balance while the kettle boiled. Book tickets over the pizza I ordered for lunch. Just because the stores are shut, I don't have to stop shopping anymore. The final whistle I flicked through sky highlights to witness another glorious Chelsea victory. And I did all of this through my television. That's why people are switching to digital. For more information or to get digital, call 0870 240 2000. it looks. Ben, I, I think it's time we finished our relationship. I've met someone else. And I've just won the lottery. Want to make sure you're acting on the most up-to-date information? With BT's eBusiness Solutions, you can.
Frankfurt leads Scotland 7-0, and the Galaxy are really keying on Aaron Stecker, trying to keep him from being a game-breaker. Yeah, this pre-game speech of Dick Carls really seems to have done the trick this week, doesn't it? Uh, he, he's got a linebacker spying on Stecker on every single play. His lineman, he's lining up with five or six guys in line. His defensive backs are playing so well, but they don't have to play too deep because there's no deep routes being run. They can afford to have a linebacker that's spying Stecker for the whole game. It's not a problem to him at the moment. Scotland coach Jim Kreiner performing run, surgery on the sidelines. Right he cannot down. be a very happy man right now. No, absolutely not. And he's trying to get things squared right away with his down. offense right now. He is there. taking it on his shoulders. He's kneeling down. He's got the board out. He's doing the mojo. He's drawing with the pin. And, and obviously, the Galaxy is throwing this team some curveballs. He's trying to get these guys squared away now. And this young man, Jim Tomasula, he cannot be happy. And he's a guy that's going to put a foot up with someone's colon if they don't, you know, play within the school. <laughs> excuse me, play within the scheme. And I know he is highly motivated. I know he's doing that to the to the hounds. He's the D-line coach. He's the uh, keeper of the hounds. They show blitz on first down the Claymores. And White gets rid of it. Michael Blair can't get past the open field tackle from Phil Glover. There it is. You got to do that as an outside backer in this league. I mean, I. I know a lot of guts and glory come on sacking the quarterbacks coming off the short corner. But you got to be able to pick up. You'll see him coming out the corner here. Here he is right here. Let's watch this young man right here. No. But anyway, you'll see the crossing the field. There he is, field Glover coming into view, makes a good open field tackle. And it's just not all guts and glory of sacking quarterbacks. You got to make these big plays right there. Second and long. White again. Pressure. The pressure gets away from Rashid Simmons and then just has to get rid of it. Simmons stayed with him. He had the hounds of Scotland snapping at his heels there, Ted White. Starting to snarl a little bit. Oh, yeah. Starting to snarl. Now, this guy really, see, now, Noel Scarlett's getting all fired up in there, get, getting the freaking barking, now, excuse me, but he is drooling and slobbering already because they know that this guy, Ted White, is not a mobile guy, and he just wants to hang in there and be a pocket passer, and when you do get him out running around looking for receivers, he's not as productive. He's not as good. Gotcha. Third down. Can the Hounds hold firm here? The pressure comes. White has to get rid of it. He's got a man, but it's well short of first down yardage. The old campaigner, Mario Bailey, just had nowhere to go, and uh, Ted White just got tattooed. M Matt Finkus, I think, just absolutely broke him. Broke him like a toothpick, and that's what you got to do. That's exactly what you got to do. And it was a minimal gain, so that pressure was worth it. Boom! Just plant him like a tulip. That's exactly what you have to do. Because now you get the quarterback kind of back there shaking and quaking. You know, you don't know where the pressure's coming from. Now you're getting underneath the skin. They changed it up, didn't they? Defensively, and that brings out Nick Gallery, who's a big guy. He's six foot four and 240. That's big enough to be a linebacker. High snap, and Gallery does well just to bring that in and get rid of it. And gets off a terrific kick. That has Damon Gibson backpedaling to the 22. And Gibson is down at the 31 yard line. I know you never like to give kickers and punters too much credit, but Nick Gallery did a heck of a job there. Especially under the adversity. And you're right. I'm not too quick to get on the jock of a kicker. I'll be the first to agree. But I tell you what, he made a great play by not letting that one that one go in the end zone. Some flags on the play, too. Back at the line of scrimmage. Well, I wonder what this one's going to be. A flag on a punt. Hmm. <laughs> What's the crystal ball saying? Man? <laughs> Illegal man down there? Yeah, field? the old ineligible uh, man or whatever. Illegal man. Ineligible there member of the kicking Swami. team, number 23. Downfield prior to the kick. Anthony Five yard Cobbs. Penalty. The guilty party. Huge play of the game. I mean, huge play of the game by a kicker. This thing is four, four feet over the guy's head. Nice little vertical there. That could have been a huge play. That, that could have been a huge play. And he boomed a 50-yard punt after that. So I may be warming up to kickers a little bit. No, because this one. Need... I tell you, he's a big guy. He looks yeah. you eye to eye. He's a big fella. This fella doesn't. Damon Gibson, he's only 5'9". I look at him eye to eye. In fact, I look down on Damon Gibson. That doesn't happen too often. 
Now, the last time we saw a flag on a punt, it turned into a effectively a 30-yard penalty. Mm. What damage is done here? Gallery, no problem with this one. They're trying to block it, but Gibson will call for the fair catch at the 48-yard line of the Scottish Claymores. Smart move. Smart move. He got. He has the ball at the back, roughly the 50-yard line. I think that's a smart move. Good field position for the offense of the Claymores. Now they need to make something happen. Daph needs to come in here. He needs to take control of this offense and take him down, put some points on the board, get this thing, get this thing going. The big surprise for me so far, Kevin, Aaron Stecker. Where is he? Well, I think he's having problem with his footing. I mean, he is nowhere near the same on this turf today that he was last week. And I walked on the turf earlier and I didn't see, but I wasn't wearing cleats. But this is a major problem for Stecker, the turf. First down. Willie Tate goes in motion. Booted. Play action. Daft. Fires has a man. It's big Ricky Brady, the tight end, who gets past one tackler and scrambles down the sideline. And Ricky Brady, who had a touchdown last week, pushed out of bounds by Bobby Howard. 26 yards on the completion. You'll see Tony Ranto come off right here in number 21 and just get sucked in right there and again. People are not playing within the design and the scheme of the defense. If 21, Tony Moranto would have been honed up, he would have drilled Kevin Daft. Stan Gibbs was the linebacker he beat. You just sense a change in momentum here, and these fans, they're trying to lift their team. Stecker working inside, gets past David Hirscher, will pick up six yards before he's tackled. I think that's the first yes. positive carry yes. for Aaron Stecker in the ball game. That wasn't a bad little cut, too. Maybe he's starting to get a feel of the turf, the grass. And that was a nice little nice little cut. Kept his feet under him. Darted Here forward for about five yards. He's going to go deuce right queen. This is huge. Yeah, this is huge on. for the Claimers to right now come back and draw some blood. The ball spotted at the 20-yard line. Make it second down and five. Daft will throw. He swings it to Stecker, who is flat. What a great open field tackle again by Corey oh, Ivey, who's first. He's nicked. Ivey read that one all the way, and they'll lose five yards. Shoulder. That shoulder. was a big play from yes. Corey Ivey. Yes. He might have nicked up his, little, his shoulder there. When he closed the ground. He closed the gap. Made a nice little hit. These guys are popping out here, no question. There's, there's, there's some, that's a nice hit. Very nice hit. So Bobby Howard, number 55, made the tackle slip as well. This field is a little bit slick. But they lose five yards. Third down and ten. Adversity here. Quincy Coleman moves over to right corner. Kevin Brooks is at left corner. Third down, Daft will throw. He has a lot of time. He swings it out again. Willie Tate's got a lot of room in front of him, but a great open field tackle again. Jim Cantaloupe stayed with him, and he had to make that tackle. Good job by the free safety 36 Jim Cantaloupe out there. The tight end actually was out leveraging Cantaloupe. He hustled, and he made a great play. Made a good play. They've made a lot of one-on-one -on -one open yep. field tackles, this yep. Galaxy defense. A group that we didn't really talk about in pre-game. No. Cantaloupe, you know, he went to West Point. First lieutenant, the Texas National Guard. High speed, low drag, field artillery. Fourth and three, they're going for it, Kevin. Yes, they are. At the 18-yard line, and this one's going to be whistled dead before it gets on the way. That's the end. That's the end? I think that'll be the two-minute warning. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. We missed the two-minute warning there for a second. There. <laughs> so, the game, delicately balanced, shall we put it? We'll be back in just a moment. Just in. Today, Jade was asked out on a hot date by Steve. Mom, Yay. tell him he's reading my email. No, if. Report suggests Steve must need glasses. <laughs> With Open, you can email, shop, and bank through your TV 24 hours a day. It's a revolution in television. Mom, 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 mom. Open. Don't just watch TV, use it.
The Halifax will give you a mortgage decision in just 15 minutes. So you could be into your new home and making friends with the neighbours in next to no time. With a little help from the Halifax. How you doing, man? interesting thing here is that the Claymores are bypassing a 35-yard field goal attempt to go for the first down. I, I don't know if that's the right decision. You're in week two of the season and you're saying that you don't trust your kicker, the National, to make a 35-yard field goal. Is that a right decision at this time of year? Is that going to get your kicker down for the rest of the year? We know he's had problems with kickoffs. If you're going to tell me I don't trust you to kick a 35-yard field goal as well as the kickoff problem, mm -hmm. I think that blows his confidence for the whole year. You know, Kevin, from where that ball is spotted, it's a 36-yard field goal, but it looks like the claim wasn't going to go for this on yes. down. It's a gamble. It's a gamble. Myself, I would kick it, make sure I got that three, so I went into halftime with some points on the board and not that goose egg. I mean, this, this is definitely a gamble. And they could just be lining up and giving some real quick hard counts to drive the defense off sides. Well, let's see. This is a gamble from the Claymores. Will it work? Will it backfire? They're going for it. Daft feels the pressure. Gets rid of it. Looks for Dion Mitchell. Incomplete. Flag! Flag in the, the end flag. zone, too. Huge. They look like Kevin Brooks. The corner will be assessed. It was a gamble. It may have just paid off. It may have just paid off, because that could be first down and goal to go on the one. Defensive pass interference. Number one. On the defense. Well, the, the end, there is no number. There is no number down, one on the defense. Kevin Brooks was down there in coverage with huge. Dion Mitchell. Boy, did that gamble pay off? Huge, huge. Just too much contact down there. Huge play. Gamble worked. Paid off. I would have went for the three myself, but they threw it up. Maybe that was part of the game plan to maybe pull a pass interference like that out of their pocket. I don't know. But it worked. Well, they lost their best corner, Jason Bray, last week to a broken arm. He was playing left corner. First down and goal. Scotland, Stecker looking for running room. They're not going to give him a thing tonight. The Galaxy have keyed him throughout this first half. Down and dirty in the trenches. The second quarter's winding down. They know they, know they can settle for three here. The ball's out to it, but they, they need seven. And they know they need seven. So this is some serious stuff going on right now in the trenches. The coaches, the What's offensive the coordinator, and the defensive coordinator back and forth. It's a real battle right here. Uh-oh. Some kind of toss, huh? Fighting the play clock. Allen in motion. They got the heavy mob out. They give it to Stecker again, and Stecker trying to work his blockers, and again he's wrapped up Sean short. Banks will have nothing to do with it. They strung him out all the way, and he'll lose another yard. That's what you got to do. You cannot let him go north to south. You got to let this guy, you got to make this guy go sideline to sideline. That way you got a chance. As long as you keep him going this way, you got a chance. North and south, they'll kill you. See, they just keep stringing him out. Good pursuit by the Galaxy defense. Good pursuit. I tell you something, we're calling Sean Banks' his number a lot. Tonight. Yes, yes. You know what? He, the coach says he doesn't say a lot, but he's the leader of that defense. He is the leader of that defense by the way he plays. Aaron Stecker, seven carries, no yards. Third down. This is big. They will throw. There's a flag. It's incomplete. But a flag came in early. They were looking in the direction of Silesio Sanford. But we'll have to wait on the call. Mm. 21 seconds left in the wow. last half. You can feel the tension Beautiful. up here. Beautiful game. Looks like the Claymores are starting to step Prior back. Step. Yeah. Small start, number 77. Mm -mm. That's Jason Tenner, the left tackle, who never down. played offense before last Please, week against Amsterdam. 
the game clock. He's just recently seconds. making that transition over to the offense. Been a de de defensive guy his whole career. Just, just, just budges just a tad bit. It, it opens up the field a little bit more. Set the game clock. And Kevin Brooks didn't know that, seconds. and he did a good job of covering Silesio Sanford on that play. The guy who got burned earlier, which is what gave the Claymore's first and goal. But that ball pushed yeah, back to the eight-yard line. This is quite a stand so far Three from this Frankfurt short. defense. Correct. They got to do it again. On one. What do you think, Stecker on the linebacker out of the backfield, flaring or something? Well, they've been looking for it, but they haven't been able to get it. Yeah, they haven't got it yet. Sanford is the motion man. Third down and he, goal. Daft. There he is, there right he there. Gets Stecker, but he's got a lot to do. He juke shot. The pursuit's going to get him. No, oh, he made the great tackle. Great. Oh, Stecker, would you believe that? I thought the pursuit had him hemmed in, but he had great athletic move. Broke three or four tackles for a touchdown. I thought the Galaxy had him. I tell you, Dick Cole won't be happy with that. You've got to give Aaron Stecker a lot of credit. But they should have got him. Good call. I mean, they, that's, that's one of the keys. Get him out there, mismatch on the linebacker. Let him use his ability. He just comes out here. And you'll see you'll see Sean Banks come out there, take the first shot at him, number 50. He gets two good footing by Stecker. Oh, look at that nice little mid nifty move right there. I, th I thought they had him. They had him dead to rice with like four people. He is so elusive, this man. So is nicked up up top around the 20-yard line. Looks like a Galaxy member. Oh, yeah, there's somebody. <laughs> Can't get off the field. That's Anthony Cobbs. Stucker juked him down. Ju that will juked be him down. a charge timeout. Yeah, last two minutes. Frankfurt they are banged up in their secondary, the Galaxy. Out. They already lost Jason Bray last Injury week as Aaron Stecker celebrates his third touchdown of the season. Well, there's yeah. a touch of the Barry Sanders there because you can keep Barry Sanders quiet for so long and then suddenly he breaks something and, and Stecker just and did that, it there with his footwork. That's not fun staring across Barry Sanders either. <laughs> Let's look at his footwork on this. He just breaks him down on two different guys right off the bat. First one was shot Banks right there. And then watch this little step right there. And it holds number 20. Nice movement. Kevin Brooks, I, I thought they had him with three, four different guys, and they all came up short. Let's ask the tough question. Is that all down to Aaron Stecker, or should somebody have made a play on the defense there? I think that's just great athletic ability by, by Aaron Stecker. I mean, I've seen that with Barry Sanders. I think I'm a pretty, I was a pretty good player. That guy would juke me, would juke a lot of pro bowlers I know personally. You couldn't tackle a Barry Sanders one-on-one. -on -one. And he showed great athletic ability there. I mean, when he sends that film, when he sends that film back to Tampa, they're going to be smiling on that oh, one. Oh, yeah. Rob Hart has never missed an extra point in his three-year career. This will be his 56th in a row. And it ties the ball game in the last few seconds of the first half. And if it was all Frankfurt in the first quarter, there's been a sea change in this game. Flaggage, about five of them on the field. Oh, yeah, we've got flags everywhere. Could be assessed on the kickoff. But that's what the Claymores needed to do. They were down, obviously, 7-zip. They needed to come back and go punch for punch here, and they did that. That gamble on that fourth down and three worked out for them because of the interference call in the end zone. It just all worked for them. And then Stecker, of course, uses his ability and gets in. Personal foul, number 78. On the kicking team, That's Rome Rome Douglas. Douglas. the penalty was after the score and will be forced on the kickoff. What's he getting up to? I, well, unexcusable. That is, that is two penalties. Unsport, the personal foul yes. that Jim Kreiner will be uh, yes. having words about this week, I suspect. You know, Aaron Stecker, they're just confirming what he did. The eight-yard catch is third of the season. Kevin Daft's fifth of the season and ties it up. Boy, he made a lot happen that play. He did. He did. And you could just see he was just playing a level ahead of everybody else around him right there. I'll tell you something, Kevin. I just wonder if that penalty there could come back to hurt the Claymores because the Galaxy will have field position where they may just decide to take a shot at the end zone with Ted White's arm. I mean, they're kicking off from their own 15, for goodness sake. Well, in a game like this, as close as it is, as competitive as this game is, I'd go for it. I'd run the ball up the field as far as I could. I'd take a couple of shots at it, get it down close, maybe kick it for three. Go for the end zone once. You got, what, 20 seconds left? 
in the half, I'd go. You got nothing to lose. And it's a great competitive game. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't take a knee. Why? Certainly not. Huh. Yeah, they're kicking off from their own 15 yard line. Oh yeah. That go. A little bit different from last year. The 42-35 offensive shootout. Blowout, yeah. But this is a good game between two pretty good teams. So Rob Hart will just swing that right leg and line drives it again. It worked from last week against Amsterdam and it's fielded at the 30 by Corey Ivy who gets past midfield and that's what damage that personal foul did yes. for the Scottish Claymores. On the 42 yard line with 14 seconds left. 31 yard return. They gotta go. Absolutely. Especially with White's arm. He can hit the end zone from there. Absolutely. No problem. I'd go downtown. I'd, I'd go downtown. You got time for two, maybe three plays. They got 14 seconds left on the clock in this first half. Even a sideline completion to stop and get out of bounds to stop the clock could put Kleinman on the field. Three wide receivers, Todd Floyd, top of the screen, Bailey in the slot. Justin Swift is split wide to the right, the backup tight end. And White will just look in the direction of Kendrick Nord. Oh, it was a fingertip away. Should have had it, I think. I thought he should have had that. It looked like it went right through his hands. Nice throw. Nice little throw. Nord had got open. This is the man that they said they want to get in the offense. He's got such big play potential, such great speed. Speed. It was nearly there for him, but nearly not good enough. I think he's looking at him all the way. He's not reading his receivers or nothing. They're just running like four straight fly fly routes down the field. Well, four. easy to catch it from up here, of course, but you got to say Kendrick Nord could have had that one. Had to I make a slight so. adjustment. Yep. Eight seconds left, second down. Dickie, Dickie, Dickie. White with time Hold again, down. looks in the direction of a receiver, and he can't get Corey Thomas on this occasion. Just good coverage. I think it's the exact same thing. They're running all four wide receivers on fly routes, and they're taking a shot. They're taking a shot at it. You notice they're testing Corey Blackwell on the other corner, Dwan Hawthorne from the Dallas Cowboys. He wasn't tested at all last week. They've not gone anywhere near him this right. week either. They're going for it again. I would, too. I wouldn't Two seconds it. left. Yeah. Might as well just whack yeah. it in the end zone I'd and see what Mary. happens. I'd hell marry it. You know, put three wide receivers on one side and just send them all vertical. I bet Corey Blackwell's thinking, hey, what about some other guy? And that's what they're doing. They're walking three wides up top, and they're just going to go vertical. He's going to fade back and throw it up. They put Chris Bain, who's a safety, up at the line of scrimmage. There it is. White oh, is nice hit. pressure. He is flat. As he throws the ball, big Michael Mason came in and just clobbered him. And an eventful first half has reached its conclusion. The Frankfurt Galaxy dominant in the first quarter, but all they could do was put up seven points. The Hounds held firm. Then the Claymores came back. We're knotted up at seven apiece. Easter weekend. And they're almost there. Yes, it's in! What a goal! Key championship matches from Scotland and England. Rangers face St. Johnston Sunday at 5.30. Glory could be in the air this Easter weekend, only on Sky Sports.
and I, I think it's time we finished our relationship. I've met someone else. And I've just won the lottery. <laughs> Want to make sure you're acting on the most up-to-date information? With BT's eBusiness Solutions, you can. Tempo asks, when you have a cold, is one tissue tough enough? Two are probably all right. Will you test these man-sized tissues? You can even take two. He's splitting. Oh, he's blown a hole in the tissues. Very embarrassing. New Tempo Plus. Its four plies make it twice as strong as any other box tissue. It has a touch of aloe vera, and it's soft, too. Oh, these feel better already. Very strong, actually. It must have a blow in it. <laughs> yes, it's lovely and smooth. <laughs> New Tempo Plus. All the softness, twice the strength. Welcome back. The score at the Vault Stadion is seven apiece. Keith, not quite the first half we expected. No, it's not, but I think it's the first half the claim was getting away in the halftime 7-7. Seven, seven. They're going to be delighted to be in there, not trailing. Absolutely. Now, we'll take a look at that first touchdown. My apologies to Michael Mason because Rashid Simmons was the end, but it was Marcus Ray who had the contain, and you just saw him there being faked out. Yeah, I mean, Simmons comes in on the stunt, and Ray's supposed to, see, you know, to contain on the end. Uh, he was faked out completely by the play action. It's a hard thing to do. An easy touchdown for Frankfurt. Now, Scotland, we said they were taking a big gamble by not going for the field goal. They got a couple of lucky breaks, and then Aaron Stecker just makes this one happen. Yeah, it's as we showed at the top of the show with the the receivers clearing out the middle area, but we talked about Banks, the linebacker, who was spying Stecker, and he spied him there, but he's come from the middle of the field, come across at Stecker. Stecker's cut back on him. As soon as he's cut back, Banks has gone down. Stecker didn't have a blocker in front of him between there and the end zone, but he beat another four guys on his way to the end zone. Some bad tackling, right. but a lot of good desire from Stecker to get there. And I hope you caught Keith saying, as we showed you at the top of the show, because that's exactly what Aaron Stecker can do if you get the ball to him in space. Which, which is why they've designed so much of the game around him. Right. Now, from Little Acorns, Big Aaron Steckers grow. And while we were up in Murray Field last Sunday, I got the chance to check out a few youngsters, each of whom was hoping to become the next Aaron Stecker. Outfield, the Claymore's power party before the opening match of the season for the UK Bowl, the championship of junior flag football, 16 and under, the five-a-side American football game. It's a mixed game. Today's matchup has the English champions, Leicester Junior Eagles, against the Scottish champions, St. Morris's High School from Cumbernauld. Wow. Blue flag football, just like American football, but only five-a-side, and you wear little flags on the side hitched to your belt. That's how you're stopped. The flags pulled away, although when I was playing when I was a kid, the easiest way to pull the flag was to tackle them first and take the flag later. Your match referee is Ben Torriero, everybody's favorite former Claymore. Let's get back down to the action. And the game was full of action with more twists and turns than Kevin Cato's Christmas party imitation of Chubby Checker. Scotland scored first, but with four minutes to play, John Pimperton threw a short pass to Simon Murphy to put Leicester in the lead for good. The Scots came right back, but needing to cross midfield for a crucial first down, that pass fell incomplete. Pimperton's late touchdown pass to Alex Reardon sealed the score as time ran out. So Leicester Jr. Eagles victorious 37-28. And Andrew? Nip and tuck all the way with the Scottish team. That was a close game, yeah. They were a great time. That's, uh, that's the best side we played for, uh, well, in, in, in all of our comp competition. I think it was coming down to the last play. You know, they could have won it, and we could have won it. They was, it was that tight. It was that tight. The power running of Leicester's Gavin Ellis made him my boy of the match. I just can't believe it that we've won. It was, it was close, but... It's a shock to me, yeah. Winners' medals were awarded at halftime of the big game. Next stop for Leicester, the European finals in Amsterdam. And good luck to them there. Maybe I'll be commenting on their performances for the Claymores in years to come. <laughs> That's a scary thought. However, luck is something that you'll need if you enter our competition. Last week, we wanted to know which current Claymore quarterback was with the Tennessee Titans at Super Bowl 34. The answer was A, Kevin Daft. Congratulations to Carol Bennett from Blackpool, who was the first entrant picked. This week, we want to know how many yards did Claymore's quarterback Damian Craig pass for to set an NFL record against the Frankfurt Galaxy in 1999? Was it A, 180, 
B, 501, or C, 611. That's A, 180, B, 501, C, 611. You can either send in your answers on a postcard to NFL Europe Competition, Post Office Box 145, Birmingham, B, 11, 2, A, F, or why not enter through the Sky Sports website at skysports.com. All entries must reach their destination before midday the following Friday. Each weekly winner gets a Scottish Claymore's replica shirt and will be put forward into our grand prize draw. You and a friend could find yourselves in Frankfurt for the weekend of June 25th for World Bowl 2000. Flights, two nights in a hotel, and game tickets, all courtesy of NFL Europe. And as a special bonus this year, we're also offering every correct entrant before May 12th the chance to win transport and overnight accommodation together with two tickets for the May 21st contest between Scotland and Frankfurt at Murrayfield. Good luck with that. The bad news is you have to share a room with Captain Claymore if you win. We'll see you after the break with the whole of the second half. This week on The X-Files... Let's make this interesting. I'm raising you 15 large. A man plays a dangerous game of chance. Beginner's luck. With a so-called lucky streak. What the hell happened here, Waldo? Cause and effect. But can good luck be a curse? How's it feel to be the luckiest man in the universe? It's a nightmare. <coughs> you have no idea. By the time I'm finished, you'll definitely care. A brand new episode of The X-Files, Sunday night at 9, Sky One. I can't take this place anymore. Tell me about it. I have an interview next week. Sign and marketing. You do? And this is the break room. 3.30. Thought I might find you here. This is Matthew. He'll be starting an IT on Monday. Come on, Matthew. Uh, Matthew! I had an interview next week. You really should go to that. Homebase are hammering down prices. We're hammering up to half price off all laminate flooring. With prices hammered right around the store, you're better off at Homebase. Open your eyes to pure comfort with Transitions lenses. The lenses that change tint when you need them to. Ask your optician for Transitions. Transitions. Love your eyes. Cheese and tomato, and you without the cheese or tomato. Ah, the internet. God's way of telling you you should get out more often. Still, it's not all cyber geeks and girls with their tops off. Apparently, you can buy things on it. Books, hats, chocolate. Anything. A bit like a shop, really. Hmm. So, you won't be staggered to learn that the smart way to buy on the internet is with your Barclay card. You're guaranteed against fraud, so some 12-year-old hacker won't spend your money on whatever it is 12-year-old hackers spend their money on. And just like in the real world, it's accepted all over the World Wide Web. So, no change there, then. This internet thing's a lot of fuss about nothing, isn't it? Still, at least it allows you to go shopping when it's raining. A bit like an umbrella, really. Call this number now and bring the exciting world of the internet into your home for free. That's right, you can surf the net 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free. There's no subscription and no call charges whatsoever. Oh, and there's 30% off all BT standard rate phone calls as well. For you, net. Free internet now. <laughs> At Curry's now, buy any Hoover Vortex cleaner and you'll get this Hoover wet and dry cleaner too. And that's a fact. Welcome back. There's another game going on right now in Amsterdam. Rhine have taken a 3-0 lead over the Admirals. Mighty Mandy Bergsmuller with another 27-yard gem. But over in Frankfurt, what do we have to look forward to in the second half, Keith? I'd say that Scotland have to be happy with where they are now. They have to show patience in offence. That's the key for them. They know that their offence isn't going to score a lot of points, but if their defence can keep Frankfurt down to 17, show patience in offence, wait for your opportunities. They have to be happy to come out of that 7-7 at the half. And believe it or not, despite having by far the best attendance of any franchise in NFL Europe, the Galaxy record at home is 19 wins and 16 losses. Can Scotland make it 17? 
Back to Nick and Kevin. Welcome back to Frankfurt in Germany on the banks of the River Rhine. We're in the Volkstadion where the Frankfurt Galaxy and the Scottish Claymores have been going at it toe-to-toe -to -toe in the first half. Nick Halling along with Kevin Green up in the booth. And Kevin, it really was your kind of game in the first half. Defense is dominating all the way. Both offenses struggling to get on track. I think Ted White standing in the pocket. I think he's got some happy feet right now. I like the play of, I like the play, poise and confidence that, that, that Kevin Dapp in the pocket it shows. Right here, the pass yards are basically the same. Galaxy has 20 more yards rushing the ball. Time of possession, almost the same. There's nothing really that stands out and bites me about those stats. Well, one player that did stand out and bite me in that first half, I know it bit you, was that touchdown run from Aaron Stecker. No question. I mean, this play had a, a lot of heart. And he made a lot of things happen just on his own sheer desire and determination and his ability not to be denied. This man was going for it. He, he wasn't going to be denied. I just, I, I like, I, I look for play players that play the game with heart and passion and love and desire and, and and you know what we need to come up with like a you know green's passion play of the game or something oh, there we can go I, I don't know just off the top of my head you know just something that we can recognize the guy that shows the most passion making a play well, it's Mitchell and Blackwell are the deep men as the second half is underway. They leave it for Blackwell, who picks it up at the 15-yard line and looks to try and find a seam and is dragged down by Kevin McCullough at the 30-yard line. Yeah, you talk about passion. That certainly was the big player that first half. And Kevin Daff managed to keep a couple of series alive with a bit of passion of his own. He'll take off when he has to. And he will, and that's something he wanted to work on over here, is that, first of all, dump the ball off if his number one two recover, if the receiver's covered, or run, show his mobility, his athletic ability, get the first down. He's done that. Well, you talked about the need for him to show some poise. That was sure. one of your keys to the game. And he has done that, I believe. He certainly has. He continues to impress in the early weeks of this NFL Europe season, the man from the Tennessee Titans. And he drops and has a lot of time on first down and it's a drop ball by Aaron Stecker. But um, it was interesting in that first half. It was it was all Frankfurt offensively in the first quarter. The the, uh, the Scottish Claymores could only just manage two yards of offense in that first quarter, but things turned around in the second. And, you know, we, we talk we about Kevin Daft and what he's done, but, but Ted White has shown some glimpses as well. Absolutely, and nobody gave him any credit as far as his scrambling and elusive ability, but I think we saw a couple times that he can run with the football. And he's got a gun on an arm. Yes, bazooka. Second down, Damon Gibson to the top of the screen. Draw, draw play. They look to work Stecker's elusiveness, and he will sprint over the 35-yard line. David Hulsher was there to make the tackle, and... Uh, that's not something Claymore's fans are going to want to see. Slow getting up. I think this kid just makes a difference for the offense of the Claymore's. I mean, I, I think Kevin Dath and, and um, five, three. Ted White are real comparable with their abilities, but I think Aaron Stecker really makes a difference for the offense of the Claymore's. Well, Stecker's out of the lineup on third and six. Ben Snell, number 33, checks in. He's a good player in his own right, Ben Snell is. Timeout. Substitution. Edinburgh, function. first team timeout. So the Claymore's call yeah. timeout, and Kevin Daft scoots over to the sidelines in a hurry to talk to Jim Kreiner. Let's see if we can listen in. Marcus Crandell, the backup quarterback, is in there as they listen to we need, we Vince Calvert, Al Cowley. First offensive problem. Yeah. The offensive coordinator has called a play, and Kevin Daff says we don't have the personnel. Get in there! Get in there! Go ahead. Call it, call it. Wristband 53. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Regular. Going from the arm, going on the wristband on the arm, play number 53. I tell you, uh, just a little discombobulated on the offense. I mean, they had to call... Did you guys stop the clock for the injury or what? They had to call a timeout earlier in the game for the defense because the defense was discombobulated. Hey, how many timeouts are you going to charge us with one day? After arguing the toss with the officials about the timeout, I think he may lose. Uh, I've never seen an official yet in any sport overturn a decision because a player says, "Hey, I know, but by God, you got to do what you got to do. You got to stand up for what you think is right." <laughs> I'd have done the same thing, even though it was a losing battle. I would have been up in there. It will be third down and five. 
for the Claymores. This hostile Galaxy crowd gets the whistling going. The decibel level out there really does have to be experienced at first hand to appreciate just how manic these fans can be. Hey, Mike, Cornell, come up. Coming over and talking to Coach Jim Kreiner and explaining the situation to him on the sideline. The play clock was moving during the time the game clock was still. Therefore, there will be no charge team timeout to Scotland. Third down. Well, it was worth arguing. Can you believe it? Well, wow, there's a first. Just, I just saw a first. A television first for Absolutely. you right there. The quarterback, he argued his case, yada, yada, yada. It was, it, it was overturned. They got their timeout back. That's one in a trillion. It'll never happen again. You can, you, you can do 30 years of this, Nick, and it'll never happen again. Well, Peter Morelli and Kevin Good. Daft. Good job. They have a good relationship. <laughs> ben Snell. Empty, empty runs backfield. out wide right. David Gibson is the motion man. They will throw from an empty backfield. It's complete. First down for the Scottish Claymores. Just a little inch and go. They'll move the chains. They pick up seven yards, which is all they needed. First time Ricky, we've Ricky seen Brady, it. the tight end, coming up with it. First time we've seen that, Nick. That little motion out, making it, making it an empty backfield. You'll see he's just totally empty, and he just nice, very nice. Ricky Brady's made a couple of clutch mm -hmm. plays in this ball game. Tremaine Allen remaining back there, number 42. That's a player they think can make some things happen for them as well. Daft feels the heat. Now he rolls one way, now another points. Has time, has a man. And it's complete, and Ricky Brady again getting away from tacklers, and he's such a load to bring down. He had Bobby Howard wrapped all over him, but he just kept plowing away and picked up 19 yards. You want a passion play? What about that one? Absolutely. I think just a great job by Kevin Dad, the quarterback, moving around, showing his athletic ability to get out of tight places, making something happen when there was nothing there. I think it's just good awareness. Look, he's looking for a receiver. He scrambles around. He keeps his vision. He keeps his point. He points, and he just throws a knife. And this young man right here breaks a tackle. Good job by Ricky Brady. Breaks a couple tackles. First down in Frankfurt territory. Good boot. Play action. Daft. Eludes tacklers again. Gets some blockers in front of him. Now he will take off. And he's still got running room in front of him, and he just skips out after a pickup of 13 yards and this is a guy that we don't think of as a scrambler but he is doing some stuff out there i think Get. you're seeing something here i think you're seeing that he's taking something on his shoulders he's saying hey if i don't see nothing you know i'm going to try to make something happen and that's exactly what he's doing he it's a nice little boot play action pass he reverses the field and makes runs for a 10 12 yard gain the only guy that can get him is charles preston and he hasn't got the speed that's preston can't get him 13 more yards to the 25 yard line showing good poise up in there the hostility level from the fans goes up again daft will throw first down he gets a clobber charles preston got him that time and he had help as well <laughs> i tell you he may not have got him on the previous play he made up for it I think, I think Kevin Depp got hit so hard by Charles Preston, he knocked the wind out of me up here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, mercy. Here we go. Let's watch this young man right there coming in here. Nice little push-by move. I just showed that young man that. Oh, that, yeah. oh, you're taking the credit for that one, huh? <laughs> Chalk that one up with an assist to Kay Green. Number 91 in the booth. Know, he, he was asking for some tips, you know, and I showed him how to do that little push-by. I don't know. Loss of six. Second and 16. Draw, Draw play. Stecker, nice move again. Works his blockers. Still goes. Will pick up 13 of those yards. Nice. Very nice move by Stecker. He started inside that little shake. He bolted outside and picked up 13 yards. You know, I, I, I shouldn't make comparisons with Barry Sanders because he's a one-off in a different class. Awesome. You're absolutely he correct. does remind me. He, he reminds me. I mean, I've seen it in person. I'm saying, you know what? I've seen this before. And his name was Barry. And Barry was an unbelievable freaking nature athlete. Unbelievable. And this guy is showing some tremendous athletic ability here. The way Specker stopped and spun on a dime there. Third down and a long three. Daft 
feels the heat from Preston, he's in trouble, and he just has to get rid of it. Charles Preston will think that's on as even on this series. That, that play just looked discombobulated from the get-go. It looked to me like he might have missed that hand off the bench snail going around the corner, and then just didn't know what to do. That was, that was kind of weird. So, on the fourth down from the 18, make it the 19-yard line. He got needed to line up in as quick as he can, and the ace was there. The ace is wide open. Mm. No. It's going to be Rob Hart on the field goal unit. It takes him forever because he's, everyone's flown, he's right behind him. Somebody was on his ass. 36-yard attempt. From Rob Hart, flags come in before the snap. If that's against the defense, that could be a first down. Well, this could be really big. That could be keep the drive alive. Rob Hart not happy. Played his college ball at Murray State in Kentucky, did Rob. They couldn't understand his Southampton accent there. Let's hear from Peter Morelli. Outside, defense, five-yard penalty, fourth down. He said defense, yeah, he but he offense. pointed to the Claymores, and they are being backed up. What are they? Now he's having to readjust. And that doesn't help. Ball start. Correction. Fall wow. start. Correction. Delay of game. Delay. On the kicking team. Five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. Well, round it up whichever way you like. Rob Hart's cause has been uh, hurt to the tune of five yards. Now it's a 41-yard field goal. Hart, they more or less consider automatic from 40 in. So you're saying this is pushing the edge of his envelope? This is, this is to the edge. He has a long of 42, and he's missed that one. Plenty of leg. Well, the penalty was expensive, and we remain tied here in the Bull Stadion. Just check in. They don't check out. Men in Black treat Sky Premier like a hotel. Talking about us. Coming in at all hours, disturbing the other films. Flashing people indiscriminately. Would you stop that? And the laundry bills are astronomical. Looks like you got some entrails on you there, pal. Well, we've reached the end of our tether. Hire a decorator to come in here quick. Men in Black gets one more play. Just one. And then it's out. Gotta go. We need the room. What do you say when? Men in Black, the last play. Friday at 8 on Sky Premier. Thank you. Many designer names are included in the Boots Optician's half-price frame sale. See for yourself before they walk. Why should I switch from a softener to enhancer? Let's ask a Phillips ironing expert. Wow, with Lenore Enhancer there are fewer creases, smoother gliding. It makes ironing so much easier. Recommended by Phillips. And now let's ask a BHS clothing expert. With fabric softeners, did you sometimes feel clammy when you got hot and bothered? But with Lenore Enhancer, clothes feel light and airy against the skin. Recommended by experts, Lenore the Fabric Enhancer. <laughs> Citra offers so good you'll be laughing. Zara 40 from 9995 and Xantia 40 from 12995. So you see why Jim Kreiner went for the uh, touchdown in the first, the end of the first half as Rob Hart misses the field goal. We also saw sort of the best and the worst of Aaron Stecker on that drive. And the one thing he doesn't seem to be able to do is actually run straight for daylight. No, he had a run there where he had a nice big hole over the left side of the line. He saw the hole and then cut to the right and decided to go the difficult way. I don't know why he's doing that because <laughs> if he's in a nice big hole, run to daylight, Aaron, run to daylight. Welcome back to the Vol Stadion. The fans throwing the paper around, which is a tradition here. I don't know why they do it, but they all seem to have fun. Now then, on the field, Frankfurt are looking to try and get something going offensively. Been very quiet since the first quarter, and if Aaron Spe Steckers provides the spark for Scotland, surely they've got to look for number five, Mario Bailey, at some point. He's been kept very quiet. Handoff. Michael Blair spins away from one tackler, can't spin away from the rest, will lose yardage. That'll bring up second and 11. Mario Bailey, a guy that traditionally just murders the Claymores. We, we haven't really called his name all game. I think he's had like one reception. 
for like four yards. I mean, he's been practically non-existent the whole game. And if this Galaxy keeps running plays like that little that little draw right there, you're playing right into the to the hands of the Hounds. Second and long. With Ted White starting to feel some pressure now. And the Hounds starting to strain at their leashes. They are coming after White, but White manages to get rid of it. Nice and coverage. Broken up. A flag comes in. They were looking for Todd Floyd. And there was contact with Dwan Hawthorne. Who they haven't tested in the ball game. Oh, I don't know about that. And call. that goes against Oof. the Claymores. And we need to see that one again because. Hawthorne is disgusted. Looked like he had great position. I didn't see him use his hands on, on, on Todd Floyd at all. I missed that, but that's the call. Pass interference, number 38 on the defense. Automatic, first down. Yeah, let's take wow. a look at this bad boy and see if we can see the penalty. Let's see what you make of this one, Kevin. Let's see here. He's running in front of him right now. Well. I, he was in front of him. He was out in front of the wide receiver, running the route for the wide receiver. Had no hands on him at all, and the flag comes in. If anything, there was a bit of offensive interference. If, if anything, it was offensive pass interference. I don't understand that. Hawthorne read that all the way. But anyway, it's irrelevant. It's a first down. Yeah. Frankfurt at the 35. White has time. Has a wow. wide open receiver. Justin Swift picks up first down yardage before he's gang tackled. It's Werner Hippler, the other tight end, showing a good turn of speed there. I don't usually associate Werner Hippler with that kind of speed. Just drag it across the middle, underneath the coverage again, just wide open. You see him coming here, just drag it across right in there, and just nobody bothers to look for him. Goes right by Phil Glover. Maybe Phil Glover should have carried that. You just can't now that out. is Werner Hippler's second catch of the ball game. We'll talk about that in a minute. Good check That's a significant catch. Man. Kept the drive alive. First down, Frankfurt. Some movement. And all kinds of stuff going on at the line of scrimmage there. Justin Burrows, the center, was in the offensive backfield. Big Noel Scarlett. Before the Scarlet. snap. Big Noel Scarlett, the beast. Well, we talk about that Werner Hippler catch. It actually gave him his second catch of the ball game, which moves him one ahead of Scott Cooper of the Claymores in terms of career catches by non-Americans. That's his 63rd. Scott has 62. Both guys could big contributors for their teams. And uh, Werner was saying when Scott Cooper got three catches last week, and to move ahead of him, he said, yeah, I'm going to have some words with Cooper before this game kicks off. <laughs> he, he was being facetious, of course. They're both very, very competitive, but they just want to win for their teams. We asked him about this stuff, this competition, and they just want to win. They're not worried about this reception thing. There's a lot of respect there. First down and five. Handoff. Blair tries to bounce away from tacklers. We'll pick up three. That's Scott Cooper on the left with Kevin Daft. They haven't been able to get him in the ball game tonight either. The uh, sure-handed receiver from Glasgow. No, we haven't heard much of Scott at all. Sure haven't. They've taken him out of the game. They saw some stuff on film and they say, "Hey, this guy can hurt us. We got to take him out." Maybe like Mario Bay. Oh, he, this guy earned the respect of the league a long time ago. I think a lot of people overlooked him and paid for it. And he's one of those many Europeans that you find around this league that can come in and make a contribution. Blair, they read it. The Hounds had him. He was lucky to get a couple yards or get back to the line of scrimmage like he did. But he's short of the first down marker. And that brings up third down. Yeah, they've run the ball twice here, two consecutive times, and maybe have gotten a half a yard or a yard. Because it was first down and five because and of the penalty. And now it's third and three. Yeah, so they... Big Noel Scarlett in there. Antonio Dingle. They got three down linemen in there now. Three down in the middle. Big third down this for Frankfurt. Trying to keep this drive alive. The game's still tied up. White looks for Mario Bailey. Touchdown, Frankfurt. Now we hadn't heard about him. Now he comes out and fights him. When they need a big play, yes. they go to the big time player. Oof, the crowd is going nuts. They love this guy. This guy is a hero here. It shows it too. He stood up, made a big play. Good throw. You got to give Ted White a little credit. That was a nice little throw. Good adjustment by Mario Bailey on the ball. Well, protection the key again, Kevin. Ball's out of the pocket fairly quickly. 
What a great catch. Very nice. Mario stayed focused. Ralph Kleiman tacks on the extra point. Bailey routinely makes those catches look so easy. And the six-year veteran has put his team back in front. It's Frankfurt 14, Scotland 7. to do up the house so we came to focus do it all because if you buy a bosch circular saw or jigsaw or hammer drill or rechargeable drill you get a hot air gun worth 24.99 free problem is he can't make his mind up which one to buy focus do it all great choice great value when i was young i found it quite difficult to say how i felt Mind you, if I had been able to, who knows? I might have ended up as Mrs. Dave Johnson. Help! Swim, swim, swim. And as for I my dad, swim, swim, he never exactly swim, held back. Swim, swim, so swim. embarrassing. Even now, you're lucky to get a word in edgeways. These days, I don't have a problem expressing myself. I, wish I, like I just open my mouth and out it comes. <laughs> if you've got something to say, just say it. Welcome to your world. From one to one. What do you have to say on the matter? As this play started, I said Mario Bailey. Keith Webster said he overthrew it. We were both right. <laughs> he overthrew it, and he made a great adjustment to catch the ball and make the touchdown. The cry from the claim was, has got to be, when is this guy going to retire? Because he kills us every year. It's, he's, it, Mario Bailey is the sort of guy who, when you need a spark in a game, as Frankfurt are needed here, because Frankfurt should be winning this game by a lot more than they are. Mario Bailey comes up, makes the big play, gives them the spot. <laughs> they lead by seven. Mario Bailey has 48 career receptions against the Scottish Claymores. They've kept him quiet for a long period tonight, but you only keep this guy quiet for so long. He's, he's that kind of talent, and, and he's one of those leaders on that offense. And I think Chris Bain's in pretty decent position. Number 46 just takes an eye off the ball. Mario Bailey just wanted that, that, that rock just a little bit more. Bread and butter catch from Mario. Yeah. I've said it before, Kevin. I'll say it again. It's a mystery to me that this man has never played in the NFL. I'm, I'm not a scout, but I know this guy is talented. I've seen this guy play, and uh, I'm not sure what scouts look for. I mean, you hate to mention Kurt Warner. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Sanford and Mitchell are deep. That's a high looping kick that is fielded by Sanford at the 22, and Sanford's trying to find somewhere to go. And is pushed out at the 35-yard line. 30, 13 yards on the return. Um, Kevin Daft, who led his man, men into field goal range, but they couldn't convert. The penalty really hurt him on the last drive. Suddenly, the Scottish Claymores, who had that momentum going sure. their way at the end of the yeah. first half, suddenly find themselves behind again. It's a test of character here for the Claymores, I believe. It's a test for both these sure, teams, Kevin. Sure, and Galaxy has got to rise up right now, take yeah. Kevin Daft and Aaron Stecker out of the game. The, the, these, right. are, these are two teams that had it easy last week. That's right, cakewalks. And they're both finding it. They're finding out about themselves That's tonight. That's right. That's, it's a battle. First down, Daft. The protection breaks, Daft scrambles. Now he puts it up in the air looking for Stecker. Nothing doing, Daft paid the price there. They were coming hard at him. I think it was Henry Taylor got him. I just saw Jason Tinner, number 77, get rolled, ran right over to... Well, let's take another look at Kevin Daft getting crunched. Blue and yet hot! Yeah. See, that kind of stuff takes its toll. <laughs> I should have said, I should have said, if you know or are related to Kevin Daft, you should look away now. <laughs> Second down, the handoff. 
Decker gets those moves. He could be in for a big one. He's pushed out of bounds go, by Cantaloup. I thought for a split second he was going to be gone, but Cantaloup raced over there, but 32 yards. That's the ability of that young man to make a play like that. Much needed for that offense to make that kind of play. Nice little play right off tackle. Just absolutely hits that hole. Good blocking up front. I mean, that hole was three yards wide. He hit that really nice. Good, good, good touchdown saving tackle by Campbell. They needed that spark, Nick. They get him to the 35-yard line. This really is a seesaw battle, this one. Daft goes oh, no. long. Looks for a receiver. Can't quite get him. He was looking for Dion Mitchell, mm. who's another one of those receivers where they've used the P word, potential. Right, the potential. That can be good and that can be bad. Potential. That's, that's, that's to be fair to Dion, that, word, that, that, that was not a catchable ball. Right. That was a little pump fake, too, by Kevin Daff, and then went up and laid it up just too far. I mean, this is a this is a character check for both teams. No question, it is, because this is a battle. This is a physical battle, all the way up and down the line of scrimmage. Second down. This is West fans. Stecker. No, it's Ben Snell. And Snell works hard for four yards with half the Galaxy defense wrapped around him. Bobby Howard was in there. Tony Moranto coming up from safety. He went flying right thing. by, actually. Number 21 came in from a like a safety blitz from the corner and just went, just went this young man right here. Goes, actually, misses the tackle. Would have been a tackle for loss. Three-yard loss right there. Just misses that tackle. You hate when that happens. Good illusionist by Ben Snell. Sanford, Mitchell, and Gibson are the wideouts. Critical play, third down. Critical. Play action. Daft he's steps gone. up. He could be he's running. Run. David Hulsh is after him, but won't catch him. It's a first down for the Claymores, and he's still going. Fashion play again, Kevin. I think he saw so much green out there, and he said, hey, I got to take this, because there wasn't anybody within 20 yards of him in front of him. Well, we heard him getting hit. I wonder if we can hear him running for his life. <laughs> But I tell you what, he oh got 16 yards. Oh He's up to 50 yards on the ground tonight. He's this making a, things happen. It's a dimension I don't think Jim Kreiner realized he had with this, this, this offense. And there he goes. First down of the 15. Daft will hand off to a running back, and Stecker, looking to turn the corner, runs into Tony Moranto. And Steck second effort. Well, it actually went out of bounds. Moranto just managed to get him out of bounds. I thought the second effort had got him the first down, but the official marked it as an eight-yard gain. I don't know what Charles Preston, number 97, the right defensive end, just did. He just ran up the field like it was a pass play. Didn't even bother to break down and come back and attempt to make a tackle on Aaron Stecker. He just went vertical like seven yards, and Stecker was gone. That's... Oh, man, just bad play within the defense. Mitchell to the left, Gibson has been very quiet, to the right, second and short. Willie Tate is the motion man, Booted. play action, Daft, he's going to run it, he looks to run again and he takes off, works his blockers, could get in, in and does, touchdown Scotland, Kevin Daft is making things happen out there, seven wow. hours. Wow, he just, him and Aaron Stecker made some great, great athletic plays this series. This young man right here is taking this thing on his shoulders, and he is just making things happen. Let's just watch him here on this little bootleg. Everybody's covered. This is tight end. Jim Cantaloupe's got that number 85 covered. He just takes it beautiful. He's just taking it on his shoulders to make things happen. Well, he's thrown five touchdowns. That's his first on the ground. Rob Hart will attempt to tie it up. And does. And we have quite a ball game brewing here in the Vault Stadion. 2.42 left, third quarter. Frankfurt 14, Scotland 14. To play for Ireland means sometimes being the underdog. But never entertaining self-doubt. Living up to everyone's expectations without getting too big for your boots. 
and of course extending the warmest welcome after the match. And it's turned in, it's Robbie Keane. For the first time ever, the Republic of Ireland meet Greece, Wednesday at 7 on Sky Sports 1. Good as it looks. I see nine to five this weekend. I see nine to five next weekend. I see nine to five every weekend. I see offers free online time from nine to five every weekend and free access. Call at your local SO service station to pick up a free CD or call 0870 9090 925. A nice bit of running by Kevin Daff for the touchdown, but this was Aaron Stecker's run that set it up. And you said earlier, Keith, he needs to run to daylight. And that's what he did. That's exactly what he did in this play. He, instead of running to the bad place, he went to the, where the hole was. He looked for the one and went, hit the hole hard. And, and since he's hit the hole hard, he's now got 51 yards and three carries there. All of a sudden, Scotland looked like they can move the ball with more confidence. They don't depend on the pass so much. And that's really sparked them into a much better game. Tartan Army enjoyed that one. These guys are all regulars at the Cambridge Bar in Edinburgh. I've had one or two good pre-game evenings in there, and if that doesn't get me a free drink somewhere along the line, I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> hey, this fella deserves a drink or two as well. He really worked hard on that drive and capped it with a seven-yard run. They got quite a they got quite a running game going on that on that drive. Between him and Aaron Stecker, I think they've got a they've got a potent offensive running attack right now. I think this bootleg is a design pass option run. And both times he's done that bootleg, he's run them both and, and gained some great yardage on both bootlegs he's done. Well, two years ago, we saw Kurt Warner playing in this league for the Amsterdam Admirals. It really has been a proving ground for quarterbacks consistently over the years, going back to Brad Johnson with the London Monarchs in 95. And Kevin Daft is making a few points of his own here. That kick goes Ouch. out of bounds from Rob Hart. He that won't be happy it. with that. Nope. And Jim Kreider will be even less happy. Live it. Now you can have a go at the kicker, Kevin. You've been looking for this moment all game. <laughs> He's only five foot eight. I could take him. I know. He knows it as well. But you know what? That just hurts him. Because now the Galaxy starts at the 40-yard line because of the penalty. That's just like a tremendous return on the, on, you know, on the kickoff return team. It's, it's just, uh, it's, it makes for a short field, Nick. The defense now only has 60 yards to work with. Well, Ted White capitalized last time out, the 15-yard pass to Mario Bailey. <laughs> Nothing to choose between these two teams through almost three quarters of play. White goes downtown with that big arm. It's tipped. Kendrick Nord, the intended receiver, he couldn't quite hang on. Marcus Ray sticking his head up in there, number 22, covering a lot of distance, that is a strong safety. Nice little break on the ball. Yep, nice break on the ball, sticking his face up in here. Very nice range, ball's bobbing a little bit, both of them are right there. Marcus Ray from the Oakland Raiders. Hurley Tarver, number 40 in the mix. He calls himself Big Play Ray. Made one there. Second out from the 40. White. Picked off. Phil Glover. And Glover is dragged out of bounds. Huge play by number 54, Phil Glover. He read that three-step drop absolutely perfectly. He read that perfectly and broke right into the throwing lane of Ted White. Man, that's just a good read right there by that outside backer. Let's watch this young man right there. Look at that. He's coming out. He reads a three-step, just breaks, cuts off that quick slant. Nice! 
that's just being honed up. That's watching that extra game film, Nick, we were talking about. These guys got to watch that game film, get a feel of the offense. Another Tennessee Titan with Kevin Daft working the offense and Phil Glover quietly effective sure. on the defense. The Titans are enjoying this one. Yeah, we talked to Phil yesterday. We interviewed him. He's all about physical football. Physical, tough football. I like this look. There's his teammate under center. First down. Can he make him pay? He steps up. He's in trouble. He gets hit. He goes down. Oh, they had Aaron Stecker. Charles Preston was there. Aaron Stecker was wide open. And that may be a case of Kevin Daff just trying to make too much happen right there. He had some success with the scrambling ability earlier. And he may have tried too hard on that play because because Aaron Stecker was was wide open out there. Hey, the hounds are barking on the sidelines. Second down. They got to capitalize on that turnover. This is huge. They got to put some points on the board. Cooper left. Gibson right. Allen in motion. Daft hands it off to Aaron Stecker. He's in trouble. He gets buried. Good pursuit. Great pursuit. Jim Cantaloupe was the first man yes. there. Absolutely but that was a great. team tackle. Yes. Absolutely great pursuit by that defense. They lose five, six yards on the play. That's what you needed to do to knock them out of the field goal, possible field goal range. Good pursuit all around defense. No, it doesn't matter how good you are, what kind of moves you've got if you've got nowhere to go. Correct. And when you have a hustling defense like the Frankfurt Galaxy just had, first guy misses, everybody else is on top of him. Now it's third and long. And daft has a man, it's Stecker. Stecker's got a lot of work to do and will be brought up short of first down the by about four oh, yards. Good, make it happen that time. good coverage in the secondary from Frankfurt there meant that Daft had to look for his outlet man. Yep. And they sent Rob Hart back out to try and kick a field goal that would give Scotland their first lead of the ball game in the last few seconds of the third quarter. They may not even get this play off. It'll be 42 yards. He's missed from 41. This is his career long. The clock down to three seconds. They get it off. And can Hart connect this time? Yes, he can. And as the third quarter expires, the Scottish Claymores take their first lead. Rob Hart celebrates a 42-yard field goal that was made for him by Phil Glover's interception. And the Claymores are 17-14 ahead. Many designer names are included in the Boots Optician's half price frame sale. See for yourself before they walk. It's Walt Disney's... Tigger! Oh, no. ...in a brand new adventure... Oh, my! ...for all the family. Wow! The Tigger movie. <laughs> always the same person who ends up changing the toilet roll, Charmin introduced new double roll. Two rolls of Charmin in one, wound tight to fit your holder. With Charmin's unique texture, you now get a comfortable, clean feeling that lasts mm. twice as long. New Charmin double roll, double the comfortable, clean feeling. Good as it looks. Welcome back now on Phil Glover's interception. Watch Ted White's eyes and watch Phil Glover's feet. If Glover does a nice job here, just sitting down and then just starting to slide to his left. Slice left, just and White throws right to him. Didn't even see him there. This is an enormous play. You know, at least the three points to the claim was and puts the claim was in a position now where they're leading going into the final quarter of a game they should be losing by two touchdowns. And Rob Hart, no mistake on the field goal. Great performance by him. 17-14, Scotland. You know, Phil Glover was with Tennessee last year just to suffer being deactivated on game day most weeks. So this is a young man with a lot of pent-up energy to unload. 
I like Phil. We interviewed him yesterday. He reads this perfectly, by the way, and just just great read on the quarterback's eyes. But we interviewed this kid yesterday, Phil Glover. And I like to look in these players' eyes, Nick, when I interview them. I like to see whether they're going to blink or not. I didn't see this man blink. This man was focused, and he, and he loves to play physical football. A line drive from Rob Hart. And it's fielded by Michael Blair, who's looking to turn the corner. And he is pushed out of bounds, but Frankfurt will have the ball at the 36-yard line. Well, this is interesting, Nick. I mean, I think Coach Curl is fixing to get a good feel of what kind of team he really has here. Well, uh, both these coaches will know after this game. Sure. There's a little adversity going on right now for Frankfurt. Still rocking and rolling here at the Vault Stadium. We've just started the fourth quarter. Nick Halling along with Kevin Green, the NFL's all-time sack leader. Was a four -point field linebackers. Goal. Listen, correct score. Four point field 18 goal. to 14. Um, well, that's interesting. That's very interesting because that was a 42-yard kick. What? And you can hear what the fans think of it. Now that is going to cause confusion because you get four points in this league for a field goal of 50 yards or more. But that was a 42-yard kick. Okay, I'm not understanding this at this point. I'm not understanding how that was four points as opposed to three. Well, that's two of us. And you can add another 32,000 in the crowd as well. White fires, has his man. Blair, he's gang tackled after a pickup of four. That'll bring second down and six. Well, we mentioned those rule differences. There are some rule differences in this league to the parent league. You get four points for a field goal of 50 yards or more. The 35-second play clock keeps things zipping along. There's no instant replay and overtime. Both teams basically have an opportunity to touch the ball. We've got to take another look at that Rob Hart field goal. How long at some was it? point, I, I, 42 yards. Hmm. Makes you want to go home. Rob can't kick 52-yard field goals. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Second down. White with a lot of time, he's broken up. That was a huge play from the Claymores. Blaine Mackle Murray came over and just lifted a hand up. Otherwise, Corey Thomas could have had that one and run into the end zone. That was close to being snatched. That was close to being just plucked out of the air. Here we are right here. Nice back pedal, doesn't bite on the fake. Good range. That, yeah, nice. And look at Corey Thomas's reaction. He knew. Oh, so close. He's a hand so away from close. six. Yep. Well, the scoreboard does say 18-14. Huh. White throws. Are they ruling it a catch? Incomplete. Now they're saying it's bobbled. So it's incomplete. Three and out in frustration. They were looking for Corey Thomas again. The Hunting unit and Nick Gallery coming for Frankfurt. Just got a sense that even the crowd has been a bit deflated, which doesn't happen too often yeah. here. Before I was just noticing a, 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 an ocean of waving flags here in the stadium, and now as I'm looking out, everybody's sitting down, you know, in a funk. Gallery manages to get the kick away. It's another good one. Damon Gibson fields at his own 16 and tries to tiptoe down the sideline, but the first man there was managing to push him out of bounds. That was Slavomir Rybacik, the Polish wide receiver, managed to push him out of bounds. Flags, Last flags. Yep, everywhere. I told you I'd mention Rybacik, the you Polish sure wide did. receiver, you number 19. Sure well, Peter Morelli, who's confused us all, shall we say, with the four-point field goal. Thirteen twenty left in the ball game. I guess I'm going to have to have that explained to me as well, because the rule does stipulate yeah, over it's, fifty it's yards. 50, correct? We know 50 that. Is four points. And I do believe we know that was a forty-two that yard. Was a forty-two yard. Game. I believe we we've, we've settled that. So I I guess I don't know. Unless there's been a rule change that we don't know about. That is interesting. They would let us know that. I would hope so. Yeah. yeah I wonder what the is. Listen to Cole saying it's 50. No, 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 he has to take that off. To the first down. Take the penalty. Take. Twelve men on the field on the defense. 
the five-yard penalty from the previous spot. Fourth down. They still didn't touch on that four points, huh, Nick? They've moved on from it, obviously. Yeah, it's up on the board. Galaxy 14, Claymore's 18. It's on the scoreboard. And we're looking it up in the rule book here. Our spotter, the Terminator, has pointed out to us that it's in black and white. Field goals of 50 yards or more from the spot kick will be worth four points. That is on page 305 of the NFL Europe League official fact book. And I think the official is now on the phone, Peter Morelli, talking to an official upstairs. We've got all sorts of, all kinds of stuff going on here, Kevin. That's the phone call being made. Yep. There we go. Something interesting going on here. They, they're going to have to correct this, I got a feeling. Because that's, that's well, it, it wasn't, eight yards short. Unless, unless there's an optical illusion going on. This will be reversed. You see, this is what we brought the Terminator in here for to do the spotting for us. Outstanding. He gets the rule book out and he tells us before the official. Yes, line. the Terminator. He's a young Terminator, but he's honed up on his rules, by golly. Dirt. Well, I tell you, I think Jim Kreiner will want to terminate the referee here at this one. This one doesn't finish up soon. Wait a minute now. We don't have instant replay in this day. have it upstairs to move. And now Jim makes a good point that there is no instant replay. So it's going to be a three-point field. Not, not, a, not a Galaxy guy. No, 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 my guy. I think, I think Jim knows. Well, yeah, I mean. I think he knows he kind of got away with one. Now he really can't complain about it because he got caught. Rob knows. Yeah, he knows. Rob knows 52 yards. They He's really feeling, pushing it. They got a feeling they got away with one just temporarily, but it's been brought to everybody's attention, and it'll be rectified. I told you kickers would be the story in this game. You wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> you want me to give him a passion play, too, don't Correction. you? Correction. Give him the passion play. The field goal, to, in order to be four points, must be kicked beyond the 40-yard line. Therefore, making a 50-yard field goal. The correct score is 17, 14. There we go. You know, Nick. Well, you know something, Kevin. Uh, I made a rule to myself a long time ago. When I call a perfect game, I'm going to slam an official. So I'm not going to say anything. Right. He's corrected it. It's done with. We move on. I will say this. They're over here working on their skills exactly. as well. Exactly. Okay. And we are not perfect. We're human. At least we have the situation resolved and the galaxy will kick it away again gallery that kick is just hanging and hanging and hanging and damon gibson wants nothing to do with it and gallery was unlucky there that it bounced into the end zone you can't kick him much better than that yep good, good 60 yeah. yards and with 13 07 left in the ball game it's the galaxy 14 the claymores 17. For thousands of years, every day. The universe in your living room. The four corners of the earth at your fingertips. Sky Digital brings you 12 documentary channels from some of the most respected program makers. That's a whole world of wonder, education and entertainment. Because you're never too old to be amazed. That's why people are switching to Sky Digital. For more information or to get Sky Digital, call 0870 240 2000. Curries with this Sky offer, you only pay for installation. The dish and box are free, and that's a fact. <coughs> You'd think it would take green fingers and hours of work to get a garden this beautiful. Well, I haven't got green fingers, and it took me no time at all. I simply use Miracle Grow. It provides all the essential nutrients to make your plants bigger, stronger, and more beautiful. Hello? So, if, like the cameraman here, you love flowers, you'll love miracle Grow, won't they? miracle Grow. The name says it all. <laughs> Citra offers so good you'll be laughing. Zara 40 from 9995 and Xantia 40 from 12995. 
In case you're confused, it's 17-14, Scotland in the lead. The rule, we all know the rule. The question was, why was a 42-yard field goal a 52-yarder in the referee's mind? And the next question is, where is the referee's school? Because this guy <laughs> needs to go, okay? But putting the referee aside, and Jim Kreiner trying to convince him that he was right in the first I, place, I, putting that aside, Scotland are in position here with Jim sending Kevin Daft on the field and saying, protect the football. Right. Just protect that football, whatever you do. Let's take a, let's take a gander at at this field goal here and count this up and here we are at 10 and here we are 20 and right here is 30 and that's 2 32 plus 10 for the end zone that's a 42 yarder yeah yep. rob hart will tell his grandchildren hey i kicked a 52 yarder in the vault stadion and they took it off me <laughs> they ripped me off but it was a 42 yarder yep rob knows it yeah he's smiling he's giggling everybody knows it he knows he slipped away with one it was a matter of time before they crept up and get him he should have honed up on it. Back to the game. Scotland with that three-point lead. They now have the ball. This is a crucial drive for the Galaxy defense. And Aaron Stecker bounces around. And he does things that really have your eyes standing out on stalks. That was a five-yard gain. But he beat about three guys. Every time he touches the ball, he's, he's got the potential to make something huge happen out of nothing. Out of nothing. Because he went up in the line there. There wasn't a lot up in there. He bounced it outside and scrambled for about five. Hey, Kevin, there's the numbers. that They've been cranking it up in the second half on the ground. But Dick Curl, who said he's got to have a running game. Look at that one yard in the second half. I believe that one of their goals is wanting to establish the run. Wholly inadequate in that category. Purple 25! Little audible on the Purple line. 25. He sees something up front. Second out, listen to those fans. Three-step drop. Daft fires. He has Silicio Sanford who gets away from the tackler. And will pick up first down yardage. And Quincy Coleman is furious with himself. Jim's taking a tumble there. And Jim Kreiner had a bad leg break in go, January. Scott. First down. When a snowplow went into the back of him at his home in Montana. This is the last guy, a, a snowmobile, went right. into the back of him. And this is the last guy that needs a receiver clattering into the back of him, and even he, if it was a Scotland first down. He shattered his right femur, and he's usually walking around with, with a, cane. a cane. That's not funny. And uh, he's he's a tough he's, he's a tough dude to stand on the sideline like that. Tough old O-line yes, coach. Sir. First down. Reverse. They go for it. They've got Damon oh. Gibson scooting up the sideline with a lot of space. He goes to oh, Tony Maranto. It's coming Past back. Jim Cantaloup. Runs into his own man. He's eventually tackled from behind by Pernell Davis. But as Kevin Green has said, there's a flag. And that 30-yard run might well be heading backwards. I, I believe I saw 64 Mike Newell come and literally tackle somebody up on the perimeter. And this is coming back. Let's watch the center and see if we see him do something. Keep your eye on 64. He went to the left out of the screen. He'll come back in right Holding. here. Number 64 Six, on the right offense. there. Your yeah, yeah. Ten yard penalty. Yeah. I Still, first down. Hard to get away with that. That was, that was blatant right there. That was blatant. He knows he got busted. Mike Newell allocated here from the Green Bay Packers. Hoping to follow in the footsteps of Joe Andruzzi and Marco Rivera, two offensive linemen currently with the Packers, who played a season of football in Scotland under Jim Kreiner and then graduated. And a guy who overcame a horrible injury in college and hasn't really played since. A herniated disc. Injury. Injuries. Huge. You just can't get hurt in it. So instead of a first down in Frankfurt territory, it's first and long for the Scottish Claymores at their own 25. And Daft will throw from first down. And he's in trouble. Crunched. They came at him every Holy way. Might be a flag down the field around the 50-yard line. Henry Taylor. Scott Cooper is pointing and dancing around. It may be a holding on Scott Cooper. We don't want Holds the ball too long. Oh, got it's crushed. Yeah, it was Kevin Hobart and though. Henry Taylor converging. Defensive hold at 29. I'm in front ah, the defensive Number hold against Quincy Coleman. On the defense. Yeah. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. First down. That's huge play. That's gone down well here in the vault stadium, I tell you. That's huge play. Scott Cooper was getting mugged on the corner over there. Yeah, letting people know though. The old veteran, Scott, a six year man now. Not afraid to let the officials know. How about the sound of Kevin Daft getting rocked back there? Those microphones on the 
quarterbacks, I tell you, they frighten me, Kevin. But let you me hear you. things that, you know. Yeah, you know what? These guys are hitting them. Yeah. People want to say that this league isn't on the same physical level the NFL. I disagree. I disagree. I see it. I hear it. I'm watching it face to face. These guys are popping. Look at the numbers for Scotland in terms of penalties. That's something Jim Cron has got to address next week. Win or lose here. Stecker. He's got running room. He works his blockers. He gets very close to first down yardage, and I think the extra effort yes. gets him past the tackle of Jim Cantaloupe, and they will move the chains on that one. Sean Banks, number 50, came up inside on a stunt, little inside blitz, ran right by Stecker. you got to have more awareness where the ball is, Nick, when you're coming up inside like that and you're a free hitter. you got to at least smell where the ball is, be able to break down and make a play. He ran right by Aaron Stecker. The ball on the 40-yard line. Scotland doing it on the ground here in the second half. If it's not Stecker, it's daft. This time it is Stecker again. There's a big hole. Stecker Stand runs down. over Jim Cantaloupe. That was a collision and a half between two very tough guys. And the collision, I think, basically sent them both flying. What we're seeing here, Nick, is the ability of one team in the late part of the game take control of another team. That is happening in the trenches right now. There's no question this offensive line from the Claymores are opening holes for Aaron Stecker. Ed O'Neill, the linebacker's coach here, looking on anxiously. Jim Candeloup coming up and making the stop. It's a big, big drive this for both these teams. A Scotland touchdown there in the driving seat. The Galaxy need a stop. Ben Snell gets the carry. Snell gets bounced around and he gets punched. Nice. You talk about hitting. That Stan Gibbs. That's, that is a nice, nice tackle. Nice shoulders low, hitting through the target and taking him down. Very nice. That is just great, great tackling. Just a beautiful technique tackle. The back was flat the whole deal. He hit through the target and took him down. Vince Snell knows that was a great tackle. Stan Gibbs, a 22nd round draft pick. Third down. Daft will throw. He swings it out to Ben Snell, who's got work to do. He gets blockers. He gets first down yardage and more. Great work from Ben Snell, who's obviously been studying the Aaron Stecker manual. He just absolutely left Tony Maranto's jock on the playing field. That was an absolutely great move by a big man. Ben Snell is a big fella. Goes about 245. He stopped on the dime, made a nice cut, put a move on a strong safety. Right there, just look at that. Nice athletic move. If, if Aaron Stecker isn't doing it, Ben Snell is. 12 yards for the former Baltimore Raven, a man who had three touchdowns last year for the Scottish Claymores before injury caught up with him. The I word again. The Claymores moving the chains. They're in Frankfurt territory. Snell gets another one. He loses his no balance question. and he's tackled. No Henry question. Henry Taylor. No question, Nick, what they're doing. They're hammering. They're hammering. They're not wanting to throw the ball. They may throw it as a changeup, but they're establishing the physical part of the game right now. They say, hey, we got the we got the galaxy on their heels. We're gonna pound them. Stecker, Stecker, Snell, Snell, Stecker. Wear them down. I've seen teams take over in the fourth quarter like this when they just get that momentum and start rolling. And this is behind an offensive line that Jim Kreiner said he had some concerns with. That's right. That's right. Second down and long. Dash, a lot of time. Now he'll throw. He's got eyes dropped. Ooh. Ricky Brady won't drop many. Had him. But he dropped that one. Had him right where they wanted him, Nick. Playing the run, playing the run, playing the run. And now, now hit him with the pass. They totally have the defense of the Galaxy totally, totally off balance. And Ricky Brady was wide open and doesn't need to hear it from us. But that was very catchable. And it's so ironic, a guy who is usually sure-handed drops the probably the easiest hey, pass of the whole ball That's game. right, but he always catches the most difficult yeah. passes. Yeah. And he's caught a couple of big ones in this game as well. It brings up third down. Big, big The Galaxy play. need a stop here. Clock runs less than seven minutes now. Here they come. They're coming. Daft gets rid of it. Looks for Sanford. Can't find him. It's incomplete. John Ballantyne and the punting unit will come on. The Galaxy, Kevin, held firm. And Stecker's coming off in some
Jordan Payne. Let's watch a pick up here by Stecker on the outside linebacker, because they were coming with the heat here. Nice little cut, gets him off his feet. Gives Dabbs a chance to set up and throw the ball. He does it all. And this is a guy that's really unselfish, Stecker is. He'll block, he runs. Valentine goes for oh, it. Oh dear, he's got geez. it all wrong, that is. Oh, dreadful from the Australian. Kicker? Just dreadful. Is that another kick? So, the Frankfurt Galaxy with a three-point deficit, but they'll have good field position when we return. 6.23 left. gas is shaking up the energy market. Soon there'll be no standing charges and a new pricing structure for all our domestic mains gas and electricity customers. So quite simply, if you use nothing, you pay nothing. British Gas. The big shake-up has started. There's a new 4x4. It's from Black & Decker and it's superb off-road. Hills, twists and turns, no problem. Because its wheels don't just go round, they go round. Then lock the back ones and it's great on the straight. A revolution in lawn mowing. The new 4x4 only from Black & Decker. It's Walt Disney's... Tigger! Oh no! In a brand new adventure... Oh my! For all the family. Wow! The Tigger movie. <laughs> 30 of you work together like we do and buy as a group on the net. You can save £249 each on this new Fujitsu Siemens Kelvin computer, complete with a 10-second startup. Let's do it. Only with Let'sBuy.com. Now, in Amsterdam, the Admirals had taken a 7-3 lead over Manny Bergsmuller in the line fire, and then Jim Kubiak to L.C. Stevens, who didn't do much last week, but look at this week, he beats Deshaun Millard for the touchdown, 14-3, and Al Luganville finally smiles. <laughs> or whatever it is that Al Luganville does when he's happy. That was 65 yards for the score. Let's get back to Frankfurt. Welcome back to the Vols Stadion in Frankfurt. Nick Halling with Kevin Green. Well, the offense of Jim Kreiner took a big chunk of time off the clock, but you know this is still a three-point ball game. It's all there to be played for by both teams. Look at this, and 233 yards. That, I mean, that is absolutely beautiful after gaining just two in the first quarter. But you know, despite that imbalance, yeah. just a three-point ball game. I, I, the Hounds have really got to come alive right now and take it to this Galaxy offense. This game is not over by any means. Ted White's got to come alive, too, for the Frankfurt Galaxy. They go on the crowd. That was a crunching collision. And I'll tell you who came second. Dingle. It was Norman Miller who came a distant second in that one. Wow. It's hard to run those draws up in there like that against those two big fellas. Let's just look at this, in, let's look at this inside line right in there. Watch him just stuffing it up in there. Boom! Look at that. Very nice. Well, first round to the Hounds. You think he'll be passing on second down? White has his man. Miller's got some room in front of him. He gets a crunching hit after a five-yard gain, but the man from the Washington Redskins bounces up and goes back to the huddle. Third down, a big third down coming up here for Frankfurt. I think Phil Glover just came up and just ate someone's grits on that one. I mean, initially that looked like that had some room to go, but there was a serious convergence of that defense and, and hit that guy. That was nice. Big play this, Kevin. Yep. Four wide receivers on third down. White has time. Looks for Mario Bailey and just overthrew him. Bailey in one-on-one -on -one coverage with Hurley Tarver. Just couldn't get that. And White, his reputation is for accuracy in the pocket, but that 
one just got skewed away, and the pressure was certainly coming. I think that takes its toll. I mean, the man's been getting hit all day, and the dogs now are really starting to slobber. They're going for the juggler here. And I think Ted White's having a little happy feet back there, and he's feeling the pressure. They're coming around. Look at that. Yeah, yeah well, see, that's been taking its toll. Michael Mason. Yeah. Nick Gallery, who's punting in contrast to Scotland's, has been beautiful tonight. And a fair catch called for at the 32, 33 yard line, 23 yard line it is, by Damon Gibson. 40 yards there from Gallery. I don't, you know, I don't think these guys up front, the Claymores, have had a lot of sacks tonight. But I know what they have had. They've had some showed up good shots on Ted White, and that's that's been a crucial, crucial part of this game. The Hounds, they were big last week. They've been doing some stuff again this week as well. The, as you say, Kevin, not the sacks, but nevertheless, they put enough pressure. Yes, if you can't get exactly. the quarterback, pressurize pressure. him, that'll get him out of his rhythm. That's the next best thing. Sometimes even better. First down. Up on the ground, inevitably, Aaron Stecker is tackled from behind by Henry okay, Taylor. But the clock continues to run. We're under five minutes here. And this is this is what Jim Crino yes. loves. Control yes. the clock with the running game. I think it, I think the ball right now is definitely in the hands of the Scotland Claymores. I, I think what they got to do is just pound it out, have a nice some nice runs going here, convert a first down and two, and then this thing's going to wind down. The Galaxy has got to come up with a strip ball, force a turnover, do something. they got to make a play now the backs are against the wall there's no tomorrow it's got to happen now second down this crowd trying to get into it nobody has left this place booted play action daft has a man big ricky brady hangs on this time and picks up good yardage close to midfield kevin mccullough at the one-on-one -on -one coverage but 22 more yards for the big tight end nice bootleg he rolls out to the opposite direction. He's a right-hander rolling out to his left side. Watch him coming out this way. He squares up, throws a real nice play to Ricky Brady. Right there, squares up. I mean, who thinks a quarterback, a right-handed guy, would come out, you know, to his left side? That usually doesn't happen. He's done it twice already and made big plays both times he's done it. The ball's at the 47-yard line. 3.30 left in the ball game. The pressure on in every sense. They are milking the clock. They are milking it. And Dick Cole can just stand and watch. Boot. Play action again. Nice. And Daft looks, looks, looks. Has Scott Cooper a flag? Ooh. Great breakup. A flag came in. Corey yeah, Ivey just flag, broke please. on that ball. And Scott Cooper, who wouldn't claim to be the fastest receiver on this team, got open. But Ivey closed the door, but we wait for that flag. That ball may be a tad bit underthrown on that one. Because Cooper was about three yards out in front. He was. May have had to cool his jets a little bit to come back and try to get that. But there is maybe a holding call on on this play so well, it was in the defensive second yep. the flag was thrown during the pass, Got him. holding number 24 in the defense five yard penalty that is Corey Ivey first down <laughs> nice little play action pass just lays it up Scott Cooper may have slowed down just a little bit there good catch up by Corey Ivey but he gets the flag and Dick Curl knows that with yeah, just over yeah. three minutes remaining. Didn't see that holding there. The clock may be his worst enemy. Either that or this Scotland ground game. Back they go. Stecker runs into trouble. Somehow stays on his feet. Tony Moranto can't get him. And again, it, it, it's, a, it's a run for a loss. And I, I'll probably get told off for saying it. There was, there was shades of Barry Sanders again. Staying alive, hitting, spinning, staying on his feet. I mean, he was knocked off his feet and stayed upright somehow. The only thing I would have I would have said differently about that, he should have just kind of slid down over there on the sideline and maybe stayed in bounds and let the clock continue to run. Yep. He just kind of got pushed out and stopped the clock. So that was just a counterproductive play all the way around. Two-yard loss as well. Speed right on one, right? But Aaron Stecker is so elusive. Tremaine Allen, the motion man. Daft swings it out. Stecker's got it. The alarm bells go off in Frankfurt, but they contain him well. He will get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's about it. They converged on Aaron Stecker there, that defense. I just noticed something. They just got away with the pick play. They put Scott Cooper. 
Frank. Galaxy take a timeout to stop the clock. Sorry, Kenny. Okay. First team timeout. Please set the clock what? to 258. They just got away with the pick play. Basically, Sean Banks, number 50, had Aaron Stecker man to man. Aaron started flaring. Sean started coming over to make the play. The ball was in the air, and then Scott Cooper, number 81, comes up and hits Sean Banks while the ball was still in the air. What you Can't do that. You're, you're picking man-to-man coverage. They just got away with one. I mean, it didn't cost them anything, but just a little. Yeah, they got away with one. Just thinking about Jagger coming in behind them. Who's in it, Yankee? Who's it, Yankee? Fellas. Well, there is Scott Cooper. Yeah, here we go. He got away with one. Move, yep. Twin right, 22, X dagger, all one. X dagger. I'm thinking pass when I hear X dagger. <laughs> so, Blue second out long. Mitchell is right, lined up. Top of the screen, wide left. They're Here coming. They come, the yep. blitz is on. Poise. That rolls. Rough, oh, and no. Just loses his foot. Hell, he's still alive. Stayed alive. So oh. then they get him at the second effort. Marcus Richter, Richter, the big German, will get the easiest sack of his career and a loss of 13 yards. The man they call the judge. He delivered his verdict right there. Frankfurt. Kind of funny. Second team timeout. 30-second timeout. Talking about Marcus Richter. You know what his last ma name means? Well, you lived over in Germany for a few years, so you're going to tell me. I am going to attempt to tell you. It means judge, and he's studying to be a judge. A judge. So when he becomes a judge, he'll be called Judge Judge. Judge Judge. judge. Isn't that neat? I just, I just... Well, I tell you what, he just sent Kevin Daft away for a 13-yard <laughs> loss yeah. there. He just passed judgment on Kevin Daft for a sack, huh? Kevin Dabb scrambling around trying to make things happen. The Just judge heard the evidence, he saw the evidence, <laughs> and he said, you're going down. He slammed the gavel down, the whole deal. And it means third and, oh, I don't know, 25, something like that. I mean, it's just endless. They have to get to the 38-yard line of the Frankfurt Galaxy. The ball has been spotted on their own at 37. Would you go for the pass and get the incomplete and stop the clock, or would you run some kind of safe draw, keep the clock running? Maybe they use a timeout and then punt the ball away? Maybe get them to burn another one. They've done two. Less than three minutes remaining here. It's still a three-point ball game. Give me five minutes. Good protection. Jack with a lot of time. Going for Scott Cooper. And broken up. And Cooper turned defender there because Quincy Coleman may have had a shot at that. And Cooper stuck an arm out. And it's incomplete. And Quincy Coleman, who had a pick last week against Berlin, thought he had another one here. And Cooper, I think, Kevin, did just enough. I think that was a real nice play. I mean, Cooper was open for a second. Ball maybe it hang up in the air, hung up in the air a little bit too long. Now, John Ballantyne, whose problem is consistency, and he's had a couple of horrible ones, but that's one of the better ones, although he's still it. dying. Need a bounce. It takes a Scotland bounce. But Ballantyne, who can kick so well, he can routinely just move 60 yarders. But the former Aussie Rules player. Well, now Nick is fixing to get interested. Oh, yeah. And the minutes. pressure's on yeah. this man right now, isn't yeah. it? He's up for the challenge. And these fans are on their feet They're here in the ball stadium. Look at this. They're, They're all on their feet. They're cheering the man. What are the house going to do? 2.33 left in the ball game. You've got 33,000 fans urging the home team on. They've struggled since the first quarter. The Hounds are snarling at the door. The pressure's on Ted White. Who's going to win this battle? White will look to take off. And he slides after a gain of four. Matt Finkis was closing in. That's not what they want to do. They don't want him scrambling like that and getting three or four yards because his half continues to click. Sitting down in this stadium, Kevin, I can't see anybody. Second down, White will throw. Dumps it off. He has his man. 
Norman Miller will spin close to first down yardage. A second effort may just have got it. I think he's come up short, and we've reached the two-minute warning. And this game that's had nothing between these two teams is so finely balanced. Wow. The Galaxy have the ball. The Claymores have the lead. We've got two minutes left, and we'll be back after this. Beautiful. It's been over a hundred years since the last British heavyweight ruled the world. Now, into the new millennium, and another British heavyweight begins his reign. Lennox Lewis against American Michael Grant. Next Saturday, live on Sky Box Office. Book now for the early price of 11.95. Call 0990-800-777. Cable customers, contact your local operator. I hardly ever go to supermarkets, but I've heard that Iceland do some far-out deals. Well, hey, here we go. This is an amazing half-price deal. And this is half-price. And this is half-price. Ah, hi there. Can I have the bill, please? the holiday destination they called the Island of Dance. I beat the It's the Lyric. Kevin and Perry Go Large, the album. Now, not a great day for the officials because I make it that they just gave the Claymores an extra play on that drive before the punt, but everything now for Frankfurt to do on third down with two minutes to play. Boy, wouldn't Frankfurt like an extra play right now <laughs> as well? You know, it, it, it's just the crunch time of the game. Uh, both these teams could end up going to the wall ball the way they've played tonight, and winning tonight will be a real psychological boost heading into the rest of the season. Let's get back to Frankfurt. Welcome back to the Vault study on two minutes left. Scotland with a three-point lead in a ball game that has kept our attention right from that first drive. And Scotland may have the lead, but Frankfurt have the ball. It's ebbing and flowing all day long. It's been an unbelievable physical competitive game all the way down it's to this point. It's been a point. Kevin Green ball game. I loved it. I was absolutely loved this competitive net competitive nature of this game tonight. The ball at Frankfurt's 40, movement at the line of scrimmage, all kinds of stuff going on there. Flags coming in, Noel Scarlett certainly jumped early. He'll, of course, claim he was drawn, and the officials will have to tell us who did what. Well, a little hard count by the quarterback, you know, and pull off a, pull off a dog like that. And that's on third and short as well. That'd it be goes first, against yeah. Lee Claymores, they'll move the chains. Outside, yep. number 97 on the That is Noel Scott. Good call. Healthy. Good call. First down. The, the pressure goes up another notch. Here's the big fella right here, just getting a little antsy in the Please. quarterback. Ted White. Reset the game clock to two minutes. Ted White had a nice little hard count. I heard him marking all the way up here in the booth. Yeah. It's four down territory from here for him. All oh, yeah. the way down. What you got? Well, meanwhile, we have a little delay on the field. All the, uh, the guys in the stripy shirts are all getting together. Correction. Please set the game clock to 1.57. Well, in a game like this, Kevin, every second does count. No question. You know, they say... Football is literally a, a game of inches and, and just... Thank you. I mean, it's such a short field, a hard yards, that coupled with how fast a game can go and get away from you, and, and time just slips through your fingers before you know it. White on first down. Will the throw. He has a lot of time. He has Norman Miller. Miller wrapped up by Chris Bain. A good open field tackle from the backup safety. The former Atlanta Falcon keeps him in bounds as well. Clock continues to move. Hurry up offense by the Galaxy, which is a smart move. Second down and 
and six. Call the game. Call the game. Let's go. Come on. The clock continues to run. 1.30. A field goal will tie it up. They get Miller again. Miller is double tackled. Chris Bain again along with Matt Finkus. He'll be short of first down yardage. I like what the Claymores are doing. They're not giving anything deep. They're letting the Galaxy complete those short little passes under the zones, driving up and making open field tackles. They need to convert the third down here. They will go for it on fourth if they fail, of course. White. He's going downtown. Incomplete. He was looking for Corey Thomas. No flags. And that's going to bring up fourth down with a minute left. And the ball game could come down to this one play. Correct. The Galaxy have to keep this thing alive. They need two yards. Blaine McElmurray was there to break up the deep ball to Corey Thomas. And so Ted White and his offense have got one last chance. This to keep the drive alive. This to keep the game alive. White pumps, looks, has Mario Bailey. Oh, and it's intercepted Dwan Hawthorne. They challenge Dwan Hawthorne. And Hawthorne oh, met the challenge. Oh, huge play. And he covered some ground. He covered some ground. That wide receiver was wide open, streaking down the sideline. And Dewan covered some serious ground. That's a man that started nine games for the Dallas Cowboys last year, including a playoff game. And he's been touted before a ball was kicked in this league as the best corner in the league. And Amsterdam never went near him not last week. Frankfurt have avoided him this week, and now we know why. Coach Crowder, he says this man could be very well be the best corner to have ever played in the NFL Europe League. That's how good this young man is. Dick Curl knows this one, barring some freak play, is history. The defending champions beaten in their own backyard in their season opener. They'll call one more time out, of course. So they have one left, and that's it. Yeah, this is over. Well, Kevin, you said it was still questions to be answered for both these teams. <laughs> and so the Claymores will take knees after uh, Frankfurt take their last time out. So congratulations to the Claymores. They're now off to a 2-0 start for the first season of the millennium, and that's not bad. And you can join us next week for the third game of Scotland's millennial campaign. They travel to Dusseldorf to take on Galen Hall's Rhine Fire. The action begins at 6 p.m. on Sky Sports 2 this coming Saturday. So be sure not to miss another crunch encounter. So from Keith Webster and myself, thanks for being here, Keith. Join us next week. We'll see you then.